And when Baked Alaska said to Jim, like, why don't you show your face, you snap. It's the only thing that gets to Jim, so I guess... Uh... You know, V, I, I gotta ask you, because I'm really curious. How is it all these ex-Gamergate people that would go on and on about the importance of anonymity and fighting against those evil SJWs and those journalists are so prone to saying, dox yourself and show me your face? Because you, <laughs> like you sound like Ben Kachera, you remember that? Well, it's, just, it's just a meme, bro. Like, no one really wants to see your face. I personally don't want to I, see I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, it seems like every time I'm running into a liberalist, they want my docs, they want my face. Sargon, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Sargon, they do. Sargon does shows with what? I mean, Karen, he's, he's done speech engagements with her. She says, show your face. Short Fat oh. Otaku does a stream. He hangs out with Sargon. He's got a, a docs folder. Maybe it's, really, it it's, it's really weird it, for ex-gamer gators to keep on harping on that. I, I think you forget the fact that he said the docs is fake that that was said on the stream. And second of all, if you wouldn't react the way you did to Baked Alaska when he asked what your face looks like, then no one would bring it up. But people notice you're getting upset. I mean, you're the troll expert, Jim. You know, you, you, if you show a little bit of blood, you show a little bit of. Oh uh, no, no, I, I get that. Feed, but I mean, I, I thought I was dealing with principled liberalists who who stood for something. I didn't know you guys changed your tune to suit yourselves. We, we still joke, Jim. It's, it's okay. Do, do it's you? Not... I, I don't know. I've been looking at the last two days of Fallout here, V. It doesn't look like a lot of bands to me. Well, so, so you legitimately think that people want to see your face? No, what I'm saying is based on his reactions of using you like a Romanian carrier pigeon, <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say that uh, he seems to be a bit perturbed. I thought he wasn't going to address me or the, or the alt-right either, but it's been... Oh. I, I, v, just in the last 24 hours, I've had him talk about me in multiple videos, write Facebook essays about me, <laughs> use you as a carrier service, say he's going to sell my merchandise, ask me to come fly out to meet him in person. Like, does this guy want my dick? Like, what's going on? Because this seems like... <laughs> well, this seems I, like I, I don't know if you know this. I, I think you are trying to join the Hangout, because I said right before you joined that uh, I was edging him on. I was like, look what Jim's saying, look what Jim's talking about, you know, trying to get a response out of him. Because I, I really enjoyed the banter between you, so it was quite cool. Oh, I, I've enjoyed it, too. I've been having quite the fun, quite a bit of fun on uh, Twitter. I've, I've, been, I've been enjoying myself with this. But I, I don't know. It's just, it is weird to me, though, to hear, you know, anti-SJWs, the Gamer Gators, go on and on about dox yourself, show your face, or you're a coward. And that's not him joking around me. I mean, he said that way before fucking Baked Alaska. I think he said it after Karen, uh, where you also exposed yourself to to hate the fact when people go after your anonymity. Well, yeah, I mean, I just, I, again, because I, I'm used to watching SJWs do it. I didn't know I was dealing with the Zoe Quinn crowd. No. Uh, yeah, but wait, if, if you're going to show that something bothers you and people want to get out of your skin, they're going to do that over and over. Like, do you have me lecture you how to deal with trolls online? Uh, no, no, no. But I mean, I, again, V, it just is very mysterious to me that, you know, it's all these people around Sargon are doing the same thing or asking the same thing. We're talking doxing and uh, wanting to see faces. I mean, first it was Kraut, then it was Short Fat Otaku. You got Karen doing it. Now, now Sargon saying it, it, it looks bad. Okay, but show me your face is not power word reveal, Jim. Like, if enough people are going to ask you to show your face, I don't think they will have the mind control ability for you to do the face reveal. I think you're missing my point, B. It, it's like once it's a coincidence, twice maybe, um, but like three or four times. What's going on at the What's going on at the the Don's house here? Mate, mate, if, if you play Xbox and people say they want to fuck your mom, do you honestly think that they legitimately want to fuck your mom or are they saying it because it upsets you? Like, if, if people notice that whatever they ask you to reveal your face, you're getting upset, they're going to do it more. Yeah, again, V, there's a difference between, you know, somebody on Xbox talking shit and Short Fat Otaku having a docs folder. And I, I know you said, oh, you said it's fake. Well, how the fuck does he know? How is he verifying what's real or not? Why would he have a docs folder? Why would Kraut go around doxing people? Why are all these people associated with Sargon into this shit? Well, as I recall, it wasn't his folder. It was the friend. Uh, no, the he explicitly friend. stated, and I think Ralph can back me up on this. Did he not say on your stream that it wasn't from Latvi Man, that that was his own folder? I uh, believe oh, yeah, he oh, did Hold on. That. I know the folder. It's from a board we both frequent, Jim. And, and I'm pretty sure you saw the pictures over there as well. I can neither confirm nor deny, V, where I spend my time. By the way, some people in oh, chat are saying Sargon is coming. Is that true? Is he actually going to show up? Or 
I don't know. I, I gave him a message. I told him not to come, though. So it's up to him, I guess. Why, wait, why would you tell him not to come? Uh, why? So he can go into the white niggers rant again? I mean, Jim is... The- <laughs> 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 Jim I mean, is the Casey Newman of Twitter. Like last night, he said, So, what you're saying is that Martin Luther King is a nigger. It's like, okay. Well, no, somebody, somebody, somebody had asked me, you, you can't do activism because think of your family and your children. Uh, you know, only a coward would do that. And I said, So, MLK Jr. was a coward because he had a family when he was out there risking his ass. And then your response to that was, So, are you saying people are niggers? So, I just was asking for clarification. No, no, no. Are, are no, you I, asking I, me? I, maybe MLK, MLK was wrong. <laughs> perfect i mean look i i just find it hard just you know for him to say jim's a coward jim's a coward he's not a man and then like the you know the challenge has kind of been made here um well the, the thing that i said though is that are you saying that the british government is treating the citizens like niggers that you would compare sargon to Martin Luther king I never compared Sargon to Martin Luther King Jr. I said that there are <laughs> activists out there doing shit no way, you did. that risk their family. No, you why would I compare. ever just compare him to compare. fucking Martin Luther King Jr.? Are you kidding me? You, you heavily implied, okay, that he doesn't live up to Martin Luther King Jr. expectations. Uh, <laughs> are, are they putting lead <laughs> paint in the water? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't look at that and not make the nigger argument. <laughs> Oh, so you can't look at Martin Luther King Jr. and not think nigger. Nice liberalist. <laughs> no, I said that the British government isn't treating its own citizens like niggers. That's what I said. Oh, this is some, these are some harsh words from the liberalists. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I, This is a little too hot. I've got a family to think about. I don't know if I can associate with this stream, right? Well, I, I'm sorry if you're from the Reddit part of the internet that can't handle harsh words, but... Uh... I mean, no, you know, I, I got to draw a line at blatant racism. I believe people should be judged as individuals, not as a collective V. Sargon Luther King. I saw that go by in the chat. Uh. <laughs> uh, well, the, the thing, uh, it's like, what, what, the challenge uh, between Jim and Sargon? Well, Jim, you say you're a troll. Why should Sargon engage you? Like you don't engage trolls. They're they're not there to have an honest well, conversation. Well, that's, that's probably a question you should be asking him because he's engaged me for the last 24 hours. <laughs> You know, like he he gave you a couple of posts, right? By the way, and, I heard your Skype. That, I heard your Skype go off there, V. Was that Sargon messaging you? Uh, let me check. Yeah, you. very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, wow. Wow. Holy shit! Oh, wow. Hold on, hold on. Holy shit! You <laughs> fucking really? called it. I heard it. I knew it. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, give give me a link to the stream, mate. Okay. Oh, Ralph, you gotta you gotta turn off your uh, you gotta turn off your super chats. You promised. <laughs> I mean, if that's what, he, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Hold on, he doesn't even know what this is about. Like, he, he's not aware that the stream is even going on. Well, you have the hangout link. Do you, you don't need that? You want the actual stream link? Is that what? Is that? What yeah, yeah the actual stream link. So I can do it. Okay, here's the stream so, link. So, I'll so DM can, that to you. Uh, it's so, about. So he can hear Martin Luther King and the word nigger in the same phrase. Indicator. Is is that on the liberalist talking points list? I, I haven't checked the site, so I couldn't say. Oh, they have talking points now. No, there is a site. I, I saw somebody read it out on the stream. I is is that even is that even still up or is that defunct now? That I'm was not like sure. Five months ago. Yeah, I forget which stream I was watching where they went through and read it, but I'm not sure if that was was that official. V, did you guys get together and do that, or was that just somebody else that put that up, or <clears throat> do what? No, there's another one. The liberalist website. Yeah, I hear Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, literally literally has you on a leash fee. That's just the most amazing thing. Jeez. Uh, apparently, he's waiting for a plate to speak at a university. He's what? He's waiting for a plane to speak in a university. Oh, so he's at an airport, is what you're saying? Yes. I mean, his Skype works, though. Well, no, no, see. wait a minute, wait a minute. No, that's even funnier. So you're telling me his ass is waiting for a fucking plane, but he has enough time to keep tabs on you coming on to talk about this shit? <laughs> no, but I messaged him because Ralph told me he wants him on. Actually, I said uh, the challenge... What did I say? I think the tweet's still up here somewhere. Uh, I believe the word I, manservant I, was I, used. I, I said the challenge has been made... Oh, so you were watching the stream. 
What's, no, I, I have people relaying me what's oh, going on. Okay. Oh, your, people. Your, your spies were... Yeah, I, I, I said when I, I mean, just... I said uh, it, was, it was pretty uh, lame for you to, to relay his Skype messages, and now he's Skyping you live on air rather than just getting on the stream himself. And he obviously has the time. I mean, he's sitting in an airport. Okay, maybe not the best bigger, setting. You but. make a stream that's one hour long talking about me, right? And, and I have 80,000 subscribers, out of which some of whom... I really like to be Ralph is talking about hey, you. But... The discussion about the discussion about you was a very small part of the program. It was actually mostly about it, it was with... enough for people to say Ralph wants you, the manservant, to get Sargon on. And <laughs> I'm I not sure I used the term manservant. That might have been uh, well. To be to be fair to Ralph, I don't know if that's necessarily you know inaccurate <laughs> considering you're getting <laughs> Skype pinged as we're talking <laughs> yeah. from a guy sitting at a fucking airport. <laughs> Eesh. I didn't even know he was sitting in an airport, but for me, all of this is amusing. Like, I, I really enjoyed the banter between you two last night. Uh, yeah, I, well, I was, I was, I was having fun, but I, I, again, I don't know how he's taking it since he's writing essays on Facebook. I, I, I suppose you could say he gave you attention. And not only that, he went on his stream earlier he called, called me Daddy. Called Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he called Jim a coward, a failure at life, basically. Um, everything he touches goes to shit. What else did he say, Jim? I, I think you saw the clip too, but, uh, uh oh, he, he was a boy. Oh, no, the, the, only, the, the yes. only thing I found funny was the fight me in real life thing. Cause like I, I had flashbacks to Eric Kane and Ben Kuchera, like say it to my face. <laughs> yeah. Like, how can you not immediately default to say it to my face? That, that is amusing to me. Hold on. There was another one, like bring back bullying. What was his name? Sam Biddle. Sam Biddle, I think also asked you to fight him in real life. Yeah, that's not a good comparison. <laughs> like, that's not the guy you want to be compared to. Uh. I, I just don't understand why the joker of the internet doesn't get jokes. Like, you Dude, think he was absolutely people. not joking with that comment. Serious. Like, he was... How can you tell from a Facebook post? No, I'm talking about from the stream. Did you not see the clip earlier from his own stream? I mean, I have a Tom stamped here. If, you know what? Maybe we should play it again. I mean, if you if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Uh, we, we do have a much bigger audience. Oh, now. wait, wait. I, I, I want to actually confirm something. V, you told me once that you'll know if Sargon's mad or taking something seriously because he'll talk about it on his main channel. Yeah. Great. This is from his main channel. This is from his uh, Weak and Stupid. So, okay, go ahead, Ralph. Play it. All right, let's, let's, let's play it here. Uh, okay, it's just a little short clip. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it uh, right now. Um, it's underreported, but Australia is going down the same path as the UK. Keep doing what you're doing. Fuck Jim and the other spineless weasels, and hopefully you head down under one day. It's, like Jim's just wasting his life because he hates himself. He's he wishes he could achieve something, but he doesn't have the self confidence to do it. Like I I don't hate Jim or anything like that. It, I feel bad for him. I feel bad that he's <laughs> wallowing in nonsense and he's ruining everything around him. That's not what a man does, in my opinion. That's what a boy does. That's what a coward does. You know. And if you've got a problem with anything I'm saying, Jim, why don't you come to one of my live shows? Give you. I don't see it, by the way, for playing live chat. Well, you can't. Um, I, I played it to. Uh, <laughs> I'm just obvious. playing it for my own amusement. Fuck I, you. <laughs> I mean, I, I sent it to you in DMs. Uh, I guess I could. See, I use OBS, so I don't, I don't really use. I mean, we're using Hangouts to talk, but that's not what I use to broadcast. Um, but uh, it's only okay. a minute clip. Well, if you, well, if you would like to pause while you watch it, I mean, if you'd like to just mute for a second and watch it, it's only about, what, 45 seconds to a minute. Fucking Christ, two hours. Oh, fuck. Uh, all right. No, no, where... it's Tom. V, it's Tom Stamp. You, you yeah, really I, I just want to ask, like, where is the time stamp at? Uh, well, I sent it to you in two minutes. And, uh, two hours and three minutes. Okay. Yes, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there, buddy. Keep going. Oh, I guess in this in this little break, uh, there was a tweet from Chelsea Manning. She didn't jump off the, the building. Okay. So that's the Chelsea Manning update. <laughs> no he's responding to a comment, and I see his lips are next to his ears as he's smiling while responding. Are, are you telling me that this is a serious he's map? Not, being... Dude, he's not even smiling at the beginning of the... Like, at the end, okay, he does crack a smile there at the end. Uh, but he's calling Jim a you know a failure and a coward, and I mean these are very personalized insults. Uh, yeah, I, I guess if Jim feels insulted, then you know it's a subjective matter for I mean, Jim. Hey, my my hot take on this was again, I just was interested in the Ben Kachera comment. That's that's what I zoned in on. Mm -hmm. 
But I don't think I mean, you've ever talked about Sargon like that, Jim, have you? I mean, not not in those stronger terms. I mean, you've made fun of some of his, you know... Uh, oh, cringe, yeah, I've, I've cracked... I, I have no idea. I mean, you could go look back, I guess. I, I don't know what I've I don't know what I've called him. I, you haven't I think called I've, him a failure, said he's not a man. At least I don't think... Well, no, I, 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 I've called him stepfather a few times. Yes, yes, I think, yes, uh, yes. The meme is funny, and I, I've said that liberalists are cringy as fuck, uh, but I... I I don't recall calling him a coward or a failure or anything like that. I, I don't, that doesn't bother me. Again, the thing that I find funny about it is the Ben Kucera shit. But it's just hard to say, oh, he's just joking around when he says, when he well, says no, like Here's that. the thing, Jim. You, you put out a lot of videos online, and mm -hmm. someone who watches your content kind of know what would piss you off. And I, I'm telling you, as a person who knows the man, he did it to upset you, to rile you up. And here I am the next day. See, well, the see, now you're video. making it look worse, though. You're like, he's just doing it as a joke. But now you're saying he's doing it to make you mad. So he must be upset. Yeah, he's trolling you. Like, uh, you again, didn't say, yeah. no, you didn't, you didn't say it was trolling. You said he wanted to rile me up. So I make fun of him. And now he's mad. And he wants his revenge through bants. Which yeah, and is a troll thing. is the person who says something they don't believe in order to... Uh, I'm sorry, I thought I thought Sargon pitched himself as the leader of the liberalist movement. We've got to be smart and responsible and change politics, and I can't associate with bad things. Well, when, did I, he, I when did he declare himself a troll? Because I must have missed that. Well, I, I suppose when he is talking with the Polish MP like he did yesterday, you can bring up the fact that he trolled Jim, and that will definitely ruin his reputation. Is, a, is talking to a Polish MP supposed to be a big deal? Uh, uh, MEP. Oh, I, I don't know. Get get the Polish MP as well and talk to him. See if it's a big deal. I mean, who gives a fuck about talking to a Polish MP? I, I don't know what that has to do with yeah. anything I just said. If you talk to the Polish Prime Minister, maybe I would give a fuck. Or, or like an actual minister, a member of, par a, a member of the European Parliament. Yeah, V, I got to say, nothing. too, on Twitter, you sold it as he was going out there to protest for Tommy Robinson. But he wasn't. He was going to talk to something uh, to somebody at an event that was already set up. He, he did both things. Like, no, no, he was but you to tweeted it out. You tweeted it out with the, giving the impression that he was going out you know, for solely for the reason of Tommy Robinson. I mean, no, you I, I, I tweeted out that he was going to the uh, Hyde Park Speaker Corner in order to protest and address the Tommy Robinson issue. Yeah. And after that, right? No, no, there was no, there's no after, there's no after no, that. I, I'm telling you after, you know, regardless of my tweet, after he finished the protest, he went and spoke with the uh, Polish Prime Minister. Well, that's that's great, but again, you pitched it when I was giving him shit for not doing anything about the Tommy Robinson thing. No, as oh, he's going out to do something about the Tommy Robinson thing. No, he's just showing up where he was planning on going in the first place. Also, I heard your Skype go off again, V. I don't know what the. What yeah, the... this is not Sargon. I I, I oh. don't have a list of Sargons. In <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, you could have asked. Like, no, nothing would have stopped you from asking me to clarify the issue further. I didn't think of it at the time. You asked me if he protested. Well, it was, a, it, was a, and it, it was a pretty definitive statement, V. You were selling me a, a bag of goods that was, uh, was a little tainted there. Well, I'm not responsible for what you understand. I'm only responsible for what I write, and what I wrote was... Well, and what you wrote different. gave the impression that it was one thing when it was something else entirely. No, he, he legitimately was, when I tweeted out at Hyde Park Corner talking about Tommy Robinson. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't think I lied or uh, did anything uh, unethical. Yeah, I'm just going to let the silence hang there. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what else I need to say. It's, it, it, it's okay, strange. so how about this, V? Sargon, he's at an airport. He's a busy man. He's going to give a college lecture. Why don't we try to set up something now to, to have a conversation here on the kill stream? I, I told them not to go. So if you want to set something up, get a person. I mean, he doesn't want to not... answer my messages, V. No, wait wait why. a minute. No, I mean, Wait a minute, V. That's a bit dickish to Ralph. You said you were trying to goad him into having a little back and forth with me yeah. yesterday. But now you don't want to set up a future back and forth with me. So what, how did that change in 24 hours? <laughs> Because no one gives a shit about Twitter, right? But if he goes on a live stream that says white niggers again, I think that might be a problem. That's already out there, V. Yeah. Do you think and, that's going to disappear? I, I don't want another one. And if it's, he has that much like, lack of self-control, like, what's he doing trying to be a fucking political figure in the first place? Well, that's his business. You don't have very much confidence in Sargon, then, it doesn't sound like. No, I don't, because I see him on live streams. Wow! Isn't that, isn't that a pretty what? pathetic statement about him? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Well, I suppose it's up to him if it's pathetic or not.
but I think we both. Well, I'm know. saying it's pathetic, and I'm saying it's lame as fuck. It's lame as fuck and bitch made pussy move to call somebody else a coward, and then you won't show your fucking face here on live stream. Well, or not, face, not even show your face. Just just show up. Ralph. Ralph. It's bitch made, dude. You, it you want Sargon on your channel? Let, let, let's be honest. If Sargon wanted to talk to Jim, he would use his platform. V, here's the, here's the thing. The the one time that Jim and Sargon talked was on Louis's channel, correct? Is Sargon just afraid to go on neutral channels or other channels? Does he have to go on a liberal yeah, channel? Louis's channel is not a neutral channel. Jesus Christ, that dude sucks his I dick. know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. That's like, what I'm saying. It's a liberalist channel. That's why. Is he only going to go on channels that are Sargon leaning? Is that what he's doing now? Is he afraid to like you know engage with anything? How how is he going to change anything if he's afraid to engage with anyone? So you well, had your Jim want to do on his channel. channel. Like, you, well, you guys kind of let him answer. answer. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you were looking after Sargon. You wanted him to change the world, and now you're disappointed. Is this what you're going with? You're talking to me? Uh, no, to Gator. You're talking to Dan. That was Dan. I'm Gator. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, my bad. So, so I don't think anybody in this call was looking for Sargon to change no. the world, but all that's the <laughs> No, I'm saying <laughs> that, 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 why, why are you making that argument? That why are you worried and because are concerned trolling right now? He on, on what it. Sargon is supposed to do and what because he is supposed to do. Sargon said it himself. That's what he wants to do. The twenty year plan. That's his thing, isn't it? Yeah. He's yeah, but you're concerned trolling right now, Zidane. I'm not concerned trolling. I'm just Look at the fact. of concerned trolling and tell me how you are not fitting it. I'm, I'm saying a fact. Is he just going to do it on Liberalist, right? Like, you know, his channels. And I am like telling you that you are concerned trolling. You're not interested in the Liberalist movement. No, I, I don't he, see you personally invested in it. And you're worried, how is Sargon going to do this issue? No, it's not. It's not even concern trolling. He's saying he's a bitch because he'll only do it on channels that are favorable towards him. And he's scared to show up after he just called somebody else a coward. Well, I guess that's, that's between him and Sargon to dish it out. So here, come on here and dish it out. There you go. You literally just said it. Well, was it is it Ann? I don't think you're gonna probably sway him on this. I mean, when he went on to the morning kumite with uh, Tonkasa, he had like 14 special stipulations for even showing up. Yeah, that's true. No. No. I, I mean, if that's if, what he's doing. If we now, pay him the $125 that he's charging people to see him in Manhattan, <laughs> will he show up? Hell, if I go there, what if I show up there? I can go to New York. We could just be streaming live on the kill stream and just feed the audio through. Yeah. I can, I can drive over there. Does he want me to do that? Well, we can get this done. Did, did V drop out? Is he still here? No, I'm, I'm still here, but <laughs> you didn't ask me a question. I just did. I can go to New York. He's having a speech yeah, in New York, I'm not right? A either. I, I I'm not asking wanna... you. Could, is, would you be okay with that if somebody drives How over there? Much? I know if you will be okay. You're his messenger, boy. Well, turns out I'm not. So ask him. You know so, if you will be okay or not. Get just that, get, get that sketch. on Facebook like everyone else. I was invited here. In order to uh, try to get Sargon on, and I came but here you, because actually you weren't invited. You messaged me and said, "Want me to join?" And I sent you. Well, the yeah, link. I mean, I, I can share the screen. You, you pretty much invited yourself. Go ahead and share it. That's fine. Yeah, man. I mean, you, you could have said no, Ralph. I, I didn't. Yeah, but, but you're misrepresenting the the fact. I didn't invite you on. You invited yourself. Yeah. So uh, okay. Matter, I, I'll fact, show you I, matter of I'm fact, V, I have invited you on this program plenty of times, and you never showed up until we were sitting here making fun of Sargon, and then all of a sudden you jump out of nowhere and said, "Want me to come on?" That's exactly. When did you invite me, Ralph? Show me the logs where you invited me, and you set up a date, and I I didn't want to come. Okay, I will, if you would like. Uh, message me if you get up early doing a kill stream in an hour or so. JF just quit the uh, Warsky show. Was gonna get you on here. Hold on, I'll pull. I'll pull it up on screen if that's what you really want me to do. Yeah, Let me watch as well. Cause, uh... Okay. Every okay. time someone invited me, I usually said yes unless I'm busy or something like that. So okay, let's just. I, I know you came on my channel a couple of times, and if you invited me and, and I was available, okay. I would have came here as a common courtesy. Okay, V. Can I? I'm just gonna ask you one question. Why did you tell Sarkar not to come on here? Why would he come here? Like, what? What, what would, would you his say advantage that? be? Like, what would he gain if but he comes? Why would you say that? Well, okay. So Jim is a troll. He he claimed himself that he is a troll. Why on earth would he engage with the trolls? Because he already did on a, on a Facebook message. Uh, on, uh, on no, a wait. Stream. Let me read this. Let me read this out. Uh, up first stream. By the way, I've been on your streams plenty of times. Up first stream regarding the baked Alaska thing. I said, sure. What time? We could even do it now if you're up for it. I said, send the link. We did the stream. Uh, hey man, featured your website in my video today. 
Uh, oh, sweet. I'll check it out. By the way, I was going to see if you were down to come on my stream one day. Kind of blew up in the last week. Been at a thousand plus viewers most of the time, 2000 plus once. Now I actually have to put in work and book guests though. LOL. It's at 11 p.m. Eastern. So not sure if you could do it one night and you did a smiley face at it and uh, you didn't say anything. Uh, and then I said, oh, cool. It was on Count Dank. I love that dude. Um, then you didn't say anything. You said, oh, actually you said, by the way, I'm having failure to talk about the recent drama. Uh, want to join as well yeah i heard him mention he was coming on early on the kumite yeah sure i think i could make that what time does it start then you send the hangout link and i jumped on that stream actually failure no showed you so it was just me and you talking uh then i messaged you message me if you're if you're up early doing a kill stream in an hour or so jf just quit the warski show was going to get you on then you said ha ha just saw this i was asleep when you sent it so you could say you're asleep on that one but uh yeah so then I said, uh, I'm trying to get Sargon on tonight to talk with Alsop. I don't know if he would do it, but maybe you could fill in if he won't. And he said, nah, he won't. Uh, and this, you were definitely up. This was, you know, con you know, contemporaneous with me sending the messages. Uh, he said, if Alsop hey, apologizes you're, you're, for the way, I mean, let me finish V. You're he usually said, messaging me at 3 a.m., mate. Yeah, but you're awake. I mean, you're saying you, you usually come on if you, if you get the message, you, and you said you didn't, and that I didn't even invite you. So yeah, sometimes like, I do, sometimes I'm not, but you're messaging me in okay, the middle well, of the night. Well, the point is, you're full of shit with what you were saying. No, the point is, now it's 7 a.m. Like, well, you're up, you're here now. The last time. So, so, okay, right? so you got on now, but all the other times I asked you to come on, you didn't come on. Okay, you can have your conspiracy theory that the only reason I came on now is because it's you're not talking even a conspiracy. Like I, I don't know, man. It's just... Well, it's your interpretation of it, and I'm telling you, it's not the case. Now you can believe me or not. Okay. But we saw for the record that I have invited you on the show. <laughs> I, I never denied you didn't invite me on the show. The thing that I pointed out is that I didn't came before because I couldn't. And I, as you pointed in one message, I was asleep. Yeah, on one of them you were asleep, true. But on the other two, you weren't. As a matter of fact, this, yeah. this the other uh, one you, you were the one with way. JF. The one with JF, I didn't want to come because I don't want to get involved in that drama again. Um, I, I made it a public statement that I'm not going to get involved about JF, and I'm trying not to. Uh, and, and the other one, I was asleep. So I, I'm willing to come on in the future if you want. Okay, yeah. But let me put, uh, you said Zidane was concern trolling. Let me translate what he was trying to say in a more, in a more conducive format for your understanding. So, a long time, we've, critici we've been criticizing social justice warriors because they will only interact with each other in their own special little hug box. They don't want to engage with us. They don't want to, to talk to the all right, or they don't want to talk to liberalists or anti-SJWs. They just want to live in their own little perfect bubble world. Isn't that a lot of what Sargon is doing right now? Is he has a hug box of liberalists and he just wants to engage within that sphere of discussion and doesn't really want to branch out to challenge his ideas against the ideas of people who will likely be his political competitors. Name me a single alt-right talking head that Sargon of Akkad hasn't engaged with. I mean, that is true. He has engaged with several. Okay, I, I can tell you communists he has engaged with. I can tell you feminists he has engaged with. I don't but think why that now is the question. T tell me how many people from the alt-right has Brianna Wu engaged with. Or tell me how many people has Anita Sarkeesian engaged with. Well, Brianna Wu did actually engage with uh, Ralph as uh, <laughs> Ralph was thrown out of that convention. I don't consider that an actual engagement. Well, then how are you considering Anita Sarkeesian? She called him a garbage human. Brianna Wu wanted Ralph thrown out for being a stalker. I mean, it's the same fucking thing, right? I, I don't consider uh, Anita Sarkeesian calling Sargon of Akkad the garbage human the type of engagement we're talking about right now. Yeah, he also, he didn't engage with uh, with uh, James Alsop. I mean, there, there Wait, are did, some people, some I, people okay. say he's scared of, of Edith as well. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Jim. I, I I feel like we're getting lost in the thickets here. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This conversation's taking a weird turn. Yeah, well, I wouldn't disagree with that. No, I, I don't think the criticism is accurate. If you can name me how many people uh, Anita, like you name me a person Anita Sarkisian or Brianna will engage outside of her circle. I name you a person that Sargon of Akkad engaged out of his circle, and we can see who runs out of names first. Okay. You're comparing Sargon to Anita. How shitty is that already? 
But you are making the conversation that well, Sargon of Akkad is like an SJW, so I'm comparing an SJW to see if the comparison is accurate or that's not. That's not what I was saying. What I was saying is that Sargon has pulled into his ideological bubble and refu is refusing now to come out of it when he had a clear history of doing so in the past. It's a contrast. A lot of people but pre-SJW would engage with people of other viewpoints too, but they hit a point at which they decided that protecting their own ideology, their own sh belief structure was more important than engaging other ideas that run counter to their own. That's the whole point of talking to people that are communists or alt-right, is you want to see your intellectual rigor versus theirs, and that's why Ralph wanted to invite Sargon to talk to also. Because you have two people that are, you know, no, kind of... Not, and not even Gator, not wanted to. I did. And he didn't respond yeah, to the you message. Did, and, and by the way, we talked plenty of times in years past. And, like, I don't even know. Like, he doesn't even respond now. It's just it's just yeah, shady, My, my shady counter argument to that is that he actually engaged with pretty much all of the alt-right talking heads. I guess, save for also. I don't okay, know if you consider any... me all right. Like, what's the excuse for not even just saying, fuck off, Ralph, fuck, fuck off, Ralph. I'm not coming on your show. Fuck you. Like, why couldn't he say that? Like, I don't understand. You're, you're inviting him on your show not to talk with you, to talk with also. No, actually, I first invited him just to come on the show regularly, just as oh, a regular. I, I don't know if you noticed, but he doesn't come on my streams either. And, and it's not because uh, he's being a dick. It's because he's legitimately busy. No. Like yeah, right Ralph, now, he's in the Ralph, airport. Ralph, Ark isn't going to play itself. <laughs> <laughs> got to gotta look after your wife's dinosaur. I don't know. I, I just think it's a little shady, uh, especially since we have a history. You know, like I always, you know, I won't say we're friends, but, you know, kind of defended him and said, you know, I like Sargon. And he's been I, I don't know. Mate, before. I, I, like, I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of shady. Jim, give, give him the talk about friends on the internet. I said we're not friends, but like we have, we had a relationship, like we had a, a you know, dialogue. He's been on this channel before. I've been on his channel. Like I don't know. It's just, it's yeah. Just... I mean, I don't think he ever said anything negatively about you. I, I never heard him say anything wrong about you. But that doesn't mean that he has an obligation to come on no, your street. No, he definitely, he dude. He has street. no obligation to show up. I'm just saying, why not even uh, message? Fuck off, Ralph. Like I'm he doesn't kidding. respond to my messages either. Well, all he was responding time. earlier, though. I mean. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's watching this right now. There's zero doubt he's too. watching the stream right now. I mean, if you would wait for all of my words to leave my mouth, you would understand that I said doesn't respond to all of my message all the time. Like if you, if you would bother him about it, which is what I do, but I, I I guess you did a little bit of Eastern European assholishness in order to, to just keep insisting. Eventually, he does respond. Chat said we had an emotional connection. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a relationship. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, it's not even that. I just, I don't know. I just thought it was a little, like, Bush League, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong about it, but... Look, trust me, I, I, I never heard him say anything remotely negative about you. Mm. <clears throat> well... Well, oh, the stream got so gay, so it fucking fast. Yeah. So, so what do you think about him coming? Is he ever going to come on and, and talk to Jim since he called him a coward earlier? Or is that you wouldn't? Well, I'm telling him, him not to talk. I know to you've him. said that a hundred so times. Get now. someone else that's not involved into this. Like my my whole thing was just poke at Jim a little, and you'll see him react. You're going to blow off all Twitter. There's going to be streams about it. You're going to last for a week, and it's yeah. going to be funny. A stream by Sargon. He mentioned him in his in his stream. Yeah, do you think we'd even be talking about this if he hadn't said? Well, we were gonna laugh at it a little bit because Jim was, you know, pretty funny with some of the stuff he said on Twitter. But we I was actually... on, I was on fire. What the fuck are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you like look the at the stream on... title, the main topic was Elon Musk, and then we yeah. were gonna, you know, mainly talk about that. But then Sargon did his his stream right before this, where he, you know, he just goes off and it really yeah, personalizes but... attacks. It what wasn't you, just you know what you're on. You know, and and you refuse to point out is that it was a super chat that got him to talk about Jim. Yeah, it's but not he that didn't people... have to say all the things he said. <laughs> yeah, the super chat didn't <laughs> ask him to invite me to fly out and kiss him, did it? Yeah. 
there's nothing in that super chat about us having a gangbang in a hotel room. <laughs> no. Was there? <laughs> but he wanted to piss you off, and apparently he did. Got you to I, react. I, I, I don't know, V. I mean, I know you're trying to, to trying to kind of paint this like, oh, he he got me. But I sent out tweets. This nigger has been writing essays on Facebook, doing live streams, sending you secret Skype messages to relay to me. Not not you deciding to relay them to me. He's telling you show this to Jim. Seems like he's pretty fucking invested for a guy that doesn't care and isn't angry. Well, what what you're refusing to point out is that there are at least a dozen of people of day asking him to talk about Jim. You know, and, and oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. Essay, I didn't know Sargon gave into peer pressure so easily. Well, I'm sure you would give it to peer pressure if you had a dozen of people asking you to reveal your identity each day. Eventually, you'd snap and make an essay about why you're not revealing your identity. How many? V, people... I, v, I have people ask me to do shit all the time that I don't fucking do. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes you respond on it on Twitter. That doesn't mean you have a deep emotional connection. Yeah, like but Ralph and the, the, does, the, yeah? there's a difference between shit posting on one platform and taking that to fucking 19 different platforms to talk about it. Isn't there? I, I mean, we're talking about scope here, aren't we? You're comparing Twitter shit posts to essays, videos, and secret Skype messages being relayed to me by a fucking Romanian uh, carrier pigeon. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the alt right anymore. Thread one out of forty seven. Oh, hold on, Jim isn't alt right. No, yeah, this is this is well, I mean it is kind of similar though. I mean he he has said a lot. He's not gonna talk about the alt right, and then he talks about the alt right. Well you know it's I'm like, not going to talk about you, Jim. You, set your goal. About Jim. you know, you, you can have a goal and not be able to fulfill it. That doesn't mean that when you set the goal you're not honest about it. He actually said on on Facebook earlier, "Do let him know." I posted this on Facebook, and that his opinion yeah, doesn't do, mean do shit. Do let him know. Do let him know. Be sure to send this to Jim. Be sure to send this to Jim. I need Jim to know. I also like you. Remember the Louis stream where uh, I was like, "So you have people giving you information about me?" And he's like, "That's not true, Jim. That's a conspiracy." Yet, literally in his video, he says, "Louis sending me messages saying Medicare's saying this," and then you're saying, "I'm telling Sargon what you're saying." So does he have like little? little liberalist agents out there keeping tabs when people make jokes about him because that comes off as fucking paranoid. Come on, Jim. You, you have a big subscriber base as well. You know that when people talk shit about you, people will point out, look what this guy said. Well, yeah, but again, you're, you're comparing a subscriber base to people that fucking hang out with him. Uh, you know, or a part of his liberalist movement, right? There's yeah, a kind of a difference, a difference there people, between yeah. random YouTube subscribers and you know, my, my liberalist agents. Yeah, and there, there are people <laughs> that give me messages as well. Uh, Ralph wants to talk to Sargon, make it happen. You know, that, that type of shit. You know, and of course, you know, if I relate to Sargon, then you'll say, oh, it's it's a conspiracy. They're just like, I'm the little carrier pigeon and shit. It, you know that when you have a big subscriber base, this happens. Like, people will tell you if there's other people on the internet talking about you. It's not, it's not that you need to hire an army of spies. You're not, you're not the spider from Game of Thrones that has an army of children going around the internet trying to figure out well, what's yeah, going and you, you could be totally right. Maybe I shouldn't be, uh, maybe I shouldn't be painting this on Sargon. Maybe Louis LeVay is just a ball-riding little bitch. And the moment he sees me say something about Sargon, he scuttles off to bring the message. Well, I, I don't know about that. Uh, but I, I have a question, right? Because I wanted to ask you this. Um, yeah, go you talked about Sargon being a coward because you know he, he's not doing activism. He's afraid of being arrested and shit. Um, he, he, he's afraid of the man, basically. Um, did, I call, uh, did I call him a coward? I don't recall calling him a coward on my Twitter. Okay, well, that's what I got. At least that, that, that is the implication I got. If you, if you didn't do it, then that's fine. You know, it's on me. No, I'm legit uh, asking you because uh, I shit post a lot, man. So you gotta, you gotta point me into it. I don't remember because I was last night. I was just laughing and it was like, I, I was in a good mood. I, I oh, but maybe, this is, maybe this is what you're referring to. Um, uh, somebody was bringing up the Sargon thing. And I said, because uh, they were like, Sargon, they're trying to, uh, you know, to one up me. So they're like, Sargon's a coward for not endangering himself and risking being thrown in jail, you know, and then signed American protected by the First Amendment. And I responded to that saying, anonymity is cowardice. Now let me show you my bravery by not discussing things that might get me in trouble. Sincerely, Paul. Yeah, okay, so, so, so you're basically saying, you know, that he's afraid of the man. And uh, I noticed you on the Kumate once, you basically talked about how you would want to talk more interesting stuff on your YouTube channel, like the case of Wolfie. With the guy who had the clothes hanger that was uh, off his fuck box, himself. and then yeah, set fuck himself his... on the coat hanger. Yep. Yeah, and, and he wouldn't talk about it because you know YouTube wouldn't like it. Like it would be against the community guidelines. So you know, isn't that a comparison where you're afraid of the man as well? Like you know, you're not supposed to do it. You want to do it, but you're not going to do it. 
Well, th this is where we get into a, a differentiation between publicity and principles, which I think is a big fault with liberalists. <laughs> it seems to me like you guys are all for low risk, high reward, but not for high risk, low reward. Oh my God, Dankula is getting an $800 fine. Let's go protest in the streets. And by the way, I think what happened to Dankula was bullshit, but you're all fine for that. And, you know, Sargon's reasoning of, well, he broke the law, you know, for Tommy Robinson applies to fucking Dankula too. Yeah, but, you know, here's, here's Tommy Robinson. You're not going to get a fucking $250,000 GoFundMe to overturn Tommy Robinson's shit. Tommy Robinson has, yeah, a reputation attached to him. So that's too hot to handle. So fuck principles. We'll go with PR and optics. Yeah, and you know what's the difference? There were actually thousands of people protesting for Tommy Robinson as well. Yeah, and... people that had balls. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah Sargon was there as well in Hyde Park Corner. Mm -hmm, but yeah, I, I he, can't, he, can't, what, what? he can't talk about it, though, because he has a family to think about. Well, no, it's because it's illegal to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's illegal. Sentence. These laws are stupid, but let's not let's not protest them. Yeah, you know, the the tyrannical government uh, has a law in place saying we can't call them tyrannical. So no, I guess he, he is the law. protesting the laws. Like, like he, he raised awareness on the issue that it's illegal to talk about. Like, what what exactly more would you expect? Uh, maybe not be a coward. Uh, maybe yeah, not be a bitch like, about like, it. Maybe. Maybe not sing me the song of maybe not sing me the song of I'm gonna be a political leader, but then be afraid of taking political risks. He and then trying to say shit like, oh, oh my my family, think of my family. The motherfucker raised hundred and twenty five thousand dollars because he doesn't understand copyright law. So I mean I think you know, financially, he'll be okay. I, I don't think the risk he would be facing is as enormous as it's being painted. I think the Tommy Robinson case was talked about by other people. I don't think what Tommy Robinson did actually violates the law in the way they were trying to make it seem like it did. And I think the media blackout's bullshit. I mean, how can you guys bitch about Muslims committing rape crimes all over Europe and how the fucking press won't talk about it, but then you bow down and suck dick when they tell you, you can't talk about what happened to Tommy Robinson. That's against the law. Well, okay. First of all, he's not a political leader. He made that clear plenty of times. I think he I said, said I'm starting a political movement because I know the responsibility. And all he made a fucking video on it, V. It's an advocacy group, man. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it fits your definition when it, it's, it's an activist. It, it, no, no. Okay, what, whatever. Secondly, what exactly more would you have him do? Like, he went there, he protested, he raised awareness on the issue, he, he spoke with uh, Polish, prime, uh, Polish PMs about it. I, is he's planning to talk with the guy from UKIP about it? Like, what exactly more that he isn't doing right now would you have him do? Uh, maybe not make statements like I, I, you know, I can't talk about this. I have a family. That it just comes across oh, as just so fucking wishy-washy. Raise awareness on the issue. Raise that, awareness uh, about what if you can't fucking talk about it, me? Yeah, the fact that the government is so Orwellian that it's making people afraid of talking about it, like that—that that is concerning. That would get people. Uh, yeah, you know, you know what else also kind of stuns me, and this goes beyond Sargon, by the way. But I, I think as an American, and maybe other Americans are feeling similar to this, but I am so fucking tired of listening to Europeans bitch about the Orwellian states they suffer under, and then be complete little bitches about doing anything about it, and then get upset with us because we're not going to march down the streets with you. Like, you well, know, nut up, you not, not up or shut up when it comes to this shit. Like, well, you guys well, bitch all the time about how oppressive it is over there and how terrible it is over there. But then when a little law gets in your way about you can't talk about this or you can't do this, you are like, well, we can't do that. We need to follow the law. We need to queue up and be good little lemmings. I mean, it's well, just well, well, it's did ridiculous. You do when the Patriot Act was enacted. Bitched about on? it, B. Bitched about it. Didn't vote for fucking Bush after that went through. We've had about five of those come through after that. I mean, you're not even talking about the National Defense uh, Authorization Act of like 2012. I mean, there there have been a ton of those that have gone through. Well, I can also point out during World War One, your freedom of speech was revoked. You couldn't criticize the government and you couldn't talk against or are, the are you at so war? People didn't rise up. Hey, are yeah. you at war right now? No, but what I'm saying is that when uh, American rights are taken away, I don't see the revolution. I, I don't see people on the streets, you know, trying to take their rights back. V, is Europe is in such a chaotic, shitty state from Sweden to England to everywhere else. And your rights are getting taken away from you left and right. And you're, you're, you just sit there and you take it. And then you have snide remarks for Americans when we make fun of you for it, for not standing up for yourselves. And I think as an American, I'm just fucking tired of listening to it. Well, no, what, what I'm saying is that if you're not in that particular country, it's very easy to talk shit and, and act all well, bravado and macho and stuff. I'm from Romania, you know, the things that are going in Britain don't affect me. And I can say, oh, look, all these British people, they're so afraid to talk about it. Yak, yak, yak. If I talk about it, nothing happens to me. If I call Martin Luther King Jr. 
a nigger, I'm not going to get fired for it because I'm in Romania and we haven't enslaved black people here yet. And, and basically, me being able to do all of these things, I kind of understand that, yeah, I'm able to do it because I'm not over there. And it wouldn't be fair to just go on and, and online and say, oh, yeah, I'm so tired of these little people over there that have their own little problems and their own little shit. Uh huh. Let, let me. Let, I just. I, maybe I'm alone in this. Let me do a poll of the room. Everybody here is an American. I'm assuming. I mean, Ralph. I know you are. I don't know about Zidane or Gator. Yeah, yeah. Th we're all Americans. Yep. Am I, am I alone on this, or is, is this annoy you too? No, when I, it comes I'm to tired that, of hearing about issue. them wanting, and then they don't uh, ever really do anything. <laughs> they like, they'll like, never do you anything. You know, like you, you, you guys have your own problems. You have people who are hopping the sure, board. Sure, we have our own yeah, problems. So why do we have to act for you guys? Like, why are you? No, oh, but, but hold on, hold on, right? You have people that are hopping the border. They're illegals. People know they're illegals, and they manage to uh, appear on national television as a lawyer. Sometimes even uh, in places like po uh, politics and stuff like yeah. that. And, and you know, I'm looking at that, and I'm not, I'm not understanding how is it possible for that to happen in the nation. Right. That wouldn't criticize you, you know. It's it's just it's the way it is. It's yeah, but V, I think the key difference is you don't see a majority of Americans when they're facing those kind of issues. When you brought up like the Patriot Act, when you're bringing up border jumping, when you're bringing up all these different things that America has to deal with, Americans aren't running to fucking Europeans and saying solve it for us, support us in it. Aren't we so sad? No, but, Help but, but, us. You know what's the problem, Jim? We live in the age of the internet, and culture and ideas can jump from one nation to another like wildfire. You're laughing at the well, British... Well, I mean, I hope American Backbone jumps on over across the fucking <laughs> pond to you lot, because you could use it. I, I, I don't know. You, you have people in power that have dual citizenship, usually Israeli and American at the same time. How can they be loyal to two countries and be in positions of power? Yeah, we agree that's a problem. No one's, yeah. no one's agreed to say that. Someone in chat said, press like, one to tell, to tell Euro cucks to, to stop whining and do something for themselves. No, but, but here's but, the thing about no, whining, he, right? The, he, the firewall that Britain wants to have against porn. I personally don't think it's going to remain to porn. I think it's going to be extended to other things like, you know, hateful content, hate websites. You know, things like 4chan are definitely going to require a license in order for you to be able to access. He, and, and I don't think it's going to stay in Britain. I, I, I don't think it's going to be full channel license. V, let me ask you one thing. Uh, tell Sargon to make a Twitter and tell him to tweet out Jews are responsible for 9 11 and they're, they're, <laughs> and they're, they're the cause of all the evil in the world. Let's see how quickly he gets arrested. I, I don't understand your point. Like for two years, he's saying he's not living in a free country. And you're like, oh, so, so I'll show I can, him I can tweet him in a free right country. Now. I think he knows. I can tweet that out right now. Put my local PD, put the FBI, put everything. No one's going to knock on my fucking door. Him, they'll be on his door arresting his ass. Well, I don't know. Then tweet Martin Luther King. It, 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 I, I can. I can. What's it going to do to me? This is going to do nothing. I can tell my boss that too. He's going to fire yeah, me for it. You know what's the difference, right? It, it, they, it, of course, it's not going to happen. And, and you're comparing, you and you're comparing, illegals, you're comparing well, illegals listen, breaking listen, the law they, over Sweden and Europe, all them bringing in refugees. Different story. Illegal if I go, if, if I go in Britain yourself. and I tweet that out, nothing will happen to me. But the only when you get the large following, only when Are people you... start listening to you, then it's going to happen to you. Nothing no. happened to Milo Yiannopoulos when he had a small subscribing base. No one gave a shit about him, right? Only when you start growing big and you're getting a huge audience. Same with Jordan Pearson. When, when he was small, no one gave a shit about him and his opinions. Only when you start gathering people and you have a following, does the government care? And it's not just the government. It's it's usually, you know, the, the journalists that are going to slander you as, as a racist. And the moment you're labeled as a racist, it's almost like in Japan where you're considered to be without honor. No one is going to hire you. No one wants to associate with you. Uh, you're going to be treated like a piece of shit. And if people come and break shit in your house, well, no one cares because you're a bad person. Who the fuck cares when bad things happen to bad people? V, this is an article in 2016. It said, uh, according to the register, a total of 2,500 Londoners have been arrested over the past five years for allegedly sending offensive messages via, via social media. They're not all famous. They don't have any reach. They're getting arrested still. Yeah, the so, absolute state of Britain. I mean, you guys, yeah, not you guys because you're not from there, V, but I mean, fuck, they need a license to jack off now, right? They need a fucking porn license over there. You can't own fucking knives. They want to bend the knives. You can't, they, they're up your ass about yeah, guns. Yeah, you can't say offensive me. shit. You can't talk about... Uh, this could this kind of press shit where somebody gets wrapped up through a kangaroo court in the span of 12 hours and thrown in for 13 months but you can't talk about it because there's a, a blackout and you've got to you know queue up and just follow the fucking status quo 
Like, yeah, how long is that gonna fucking Sharia courts? Uh, how, how long is that gonna continue? When is that gonna be enough? Like, what's the line for people in Britain to say, you know what, no more? I mean, do they have to start fucking your babies in front of you, English people? No. Like, what, what is what needs to happen I for mean, English I mean, people to have personal, enough? From my personal experience, it's usually when it affects people's lives. Like, it, the, the moment that porn law is going to hit, you will have people on the streets. I'm not even joking about it. But the thing that I'm worried about is that you, it's going to spread, right? Like, the system they're having in place in order to block porn sites and stuff like that. It's going to be purchased by other countries. I'm, I'm pretty sure Germany is very interested in blocking so all like, the porn's going to get them activated, but but uh, yeah, you know, it's, the it's kids getting like, raped and their free speech. Well, being taken if away. your daughter isn't getting raped, most people don't care because most people don't even read the news. They go to work, they they stay there for eight hours, they come home tired, they watch a movie or some shit, and they go to bed. That's what the majority of people do. They don't read the news. They don't know what's happening. Not to mention, like most mainstream journalists don't even report about it. I mean, I think I can end this conversation here. I mean, yeah. I think two times is enough. How many times does America have to fix your fucking shit? Like, can't your continent get its crap together? Like, we bailed your ass out in two world wars. I think we've done enough. Well, I, I just hope it's not going to, to spread in other borders, mate. Um, and That's what we have nuclear up, weapons for. an example, right? Like, Germany's new law to... Uh, ban hateful content from social media within 24 hours. If someone from Germany reports your videos, Jim, they're going to be placed uh, on a priority list. And YouTube is not going to fuck around and look, hmm, is this hateful or is it hateful? They're going to err on the side that it's hateful. Just not to, to get a, a fine from Germany because people from Germany can see your videos, right? So, so shit that happens in Europe is going to affect you in some way. Oh, so you're, what you're telling me is, People in Germany can't watch my videos because they let the government put in policies that prohibit them from watching my videos. And that's my fucking problem. How? I'm not saying it in such a funny way, but basically, yes. And it's your fucking problem because you're trying to run a business on YouTube. Oh, you all those Merkel viewers. What am I going to do? What am, I'm all <laughs> yes, Merkel viewers. I'm going to be watching my Listen, furry videos. I, I like your shit, Jim. <laughs> Believe it or not, I enjoy watching your shit. And, and I want to watch it, despite the fact that Merkel uh, idiots don't want to watch it. Right? So because a Merkel twat can flag your video, I'm not going to be able to watch your content. That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> You don't want you, your, you can't keep you asking you can't to watch your videos, Jim. You, like, you, you can't you keep watch. asking Big Brother America to save you. I'm not, I'm not asking to save me. What I'm asking is for understanding. Oh, I you understand. Your, I understand you guys can't fix your shit. No, I understand it perfectly well. I understand <laughs> I got, your gotcha. cups. It's fine. I'll I understand <laughs> that we had problems with the way the government was running. We had problems with unfettered illegal immigration. And guess what we did? We elected Trump. Now, whether or not the wall is going to be built, you know, we did something about it. The difference here is that Theresa May is still in power. Angela Merkel is still in power. Europeans yeah, have I, absolutely I no I desire to upset the status quo. They're too busy being no, 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 that, overrun that's not with the refugees. So, so, so in Britain, they had UKIP, uh, which was a one-issue party voter. It's the United Kingdom Independence Party. And the, the only thing they were campaigning for was Brexit. And when they won, the Tories told their platform, because UKIP was pointless. Like everyone was thinking that the Tories are going to push for Brexit because Theresa May, before the election, she was really hard on it. Everyone was admiring it. And the moment she got elected, she just changed stances. She immediately started cocking. And basically, Britain is going to live the, United, the Euro European Union, but they're still going to be under the same laws as if they're inside the European Union. Which basically so not, illustrates not, my not that point. People didn't vote, okay? It's not. It's not that people didn't vote for the the party that was pro Brexit. It's not that they didn't vote for the party that was against political correctness theoretically because they're conservatives. They they actually did vote for the proper party. It's just that they got fucked. And, and this is how it goes in it, Europe. Is that, the, is that the motto of Europe now? <laughs> we got <laughs> fucked because that seems like a story every day from you guys. Well, I mean, I think there is hope because there is an alliance of Eastern uh, European nations like Poland, Hungary. Uh, I, don't which think, I don't think those guys are going to save you. I'm sorry, bro, but I, I think if you're expecting them to rush in and save France and England and Sweden, it's a pipe dream. I don't know, France, I don't think it's that bad like it is in uh, Sweden. Take a walk down the streets of Paris and tell me what you think. Yeah, that's the capital city. You know, that's a tourist trap. 
go to Sweden. Anywhere. Yeah, no, Sweden is fun. Go to London. Certain uh, parts London doesn't matter. Capital city, like like capital cities, at Rotterdam. least in Europe, they're they're tourist. Go to Rotterdam. Rotterdam. That's not a major city. Didn't they have no, like, like two rape gangs, or like two thousand girls got raped by Muslims? Didn't that happen? No, it's uh, yeah, I, I'm not denying the happen. fact that there is a problem in the United Kingdom, but I'm just saying like capital cities are made to attract tourists, so they spend money. So it's not it's not usually like the place that we're, we're, no, we're talking about right. populations. I mean, we're not talking about tourists that are coming by your capital cities. I mean, you can see a very definite change in the population of fucking uh, major major Britain uh, British cities. I mean, you you can't deny that, can you? You're not going to actually try to tell me that walking down the streets of a uh, a popular, uh, you know, large city in Britain is going to be like it was if you walked down the streets 30 years ago. No, I, I would uh, have a few policies to change that shit if uh, I would manage to advise someone that's in power. Yeah, by the way, somebody in chat pointed out Theresa May was actually a Remainer. Um, now she, after, you know, the other side won, the leave won, she kind of changed her tone, but uh, I mean, it's kind of yeah. silly to think she was going to be like the, uh, the savior. Of yeah, the you know what? And I actually, I actually want to follow up on one point because I think this is something, and I'm talking to the Americans here that we're going to have to deal with in 30 years, 40 years. See, we're so focused on the Middle East with countries like Iran and the others getting nuclear weapons, and we're worried about what uh, a Muslim majority country might do with that, right? Because we're we're scared. Uh, we're going to have a bigger issue because these fucking Europeans keep importing people from fucking North Africa and the Middle East, and they're replacing their own population with them. So maybe rather than focusing on, you know, Muslim countries that are trying to develop nuclear weapons, we should start focusing on contingency plans to deal with the, you know, the English or the French or the Swedish or the others when their country is completely blacked and they already have <laughs> nuclear weapons. Oh, I, I keep pointing it's this true. up, right? Because it's the, the Jewish conspiracy that the Jews are so smart, you know, they bring the brown people here that despise Jews so that more Jews go to Israel. It's like, okay, but what about the, the uh, more far into the future? Right, all, all these brown people, quote unquote, that, that are coming here, they're going to have nuclear weapons. How is this not a problem? You know, like, is, is, uh, why isn't the the, the uh, su superhuman Jewish people that are so smart they're not figuring this shit out? It's like, okay, if we're giving them these countries, I, I just we'll want you to know to build a fallout shelter because when the caliphate of Europe happens, we're not saving you. We're gonna nuke the fuck out of you and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there's no salvation the third time around. When you guys oh. give up control of your nuclear weapons to a new, uh, you know, majority population that wants to start shit with us, we're gonna glass the fucking earth, and then we're gonna go high five Russia and China and go into space together. That's the fucking future <laughs> plan for us. Yeah, that's basically what's gonna happen. Now, also, here's a super chat. By the way, there's a lot of super chats. I'm, I'm gonna read them all eventually, but uh, I just kind of let the conversation go. But this one was a good one. Uh, Barry Schaff. Says Americans don't just let illegals cross the borders or just vote. We form fucking armed patrols to deport our border jumpers and drug ru runners often. Yeah, I mean, it, it's. Yeah, it's well, how is it going for California? Well, he didn't say that it completely <laughs> stamped it out, but we do, we're not really seeing a, a response like that. Well, like, like for me in Europe, it's bewildering that there's even a conversation about building a wall. It's like it's a fence. Obviously, you need to build some shit over there. You know, I. And people, it's like, well, it's racist to build a fence. It's like, what? It, it, it just can't compute. You know, I, I, I can't understand the mentality of yeah. being against marking your property. Yeah, we like, agree okay, with If, if there is no border, then can we park our tanks into Mexico? If I was an American, that's the question I would ask. No, we <laughs> agree with you there. The, the only thing Trump has done recently is he sent the National Guard to the border. I guess it's being blocked on uh, the funding for the wall. Of course, hundred percent. Yeah, I think the 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 problem with Trump's foreign policy when it comes to dealing with Mexico is he's not you know take he let go of his advisor Steve Bunnell, who had a really ingenious plan of dealing with them, which was to, <laughs> to carpet bomb them. Um, <laughs> well, maybe I, if he there, that yeah, back. I would put mines on, on the border, right? And, and if anyone wants to risk their lives and they make it through the minefield, then Jesus wants them. I'm pretty sure mines are against the Geneva Convention V. I think plastic yeah, are. mines are. <laughs> I, I, I need to check it out. But, and since when did the United States care about the Geneva Convention anyway? Oh, we, we don't, but it's going to be on like our property. 
the one on the border. No, no, no. It's going to be on the border. It's neutral property, right? Oh, and if someone that. manages to, to somehow sneak <laughs> past all of the mines, then Jesus wants him in your country. You can even make a live show about it. You know, a television should, show. And, and get elected V. He's mined the fucking Mexican border. <laughs> you can run on that platform. And he might actually win. <laughs> well, no, because I would make a reality show about it, right? Okay, you, you then get... you definitely would win. You, you get money from ratings, right? And, and you can have bets. You know, you see a group of Mexicans it's, coming over and you can bet. I, you're turning me on this idea and I think this is brilliant. Yeah, honestly, the the, 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 the Raza crew might actually start sending children in order for the more important people to manage through. You know, they, they fill up the minefields with children so, so that it looks good on camera. Maybe then, we could. Start you're a telling me that show. we're going to get rid of the dreamers? Maybe we could start a reality show where we, where we just like live stream the Muslims hunting Europeans love. Uh, and and just, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I don't know. Man. Rape gang. They already do that. They've got cameras Running everywhere. Rape gangs. Just to see how fast listen, they can. Listen, run I, away I, from I them. talked about this. I talked about this on my stream. Um, apparently in London, uh, there was a group of Romanians that were doing construction work. You know, and, and as it's Eastern European tradition, after they would finish construction, they would go and have a beer in the parking lot. So they were drinking in front of this Muslim um, Muslim store, and the owner comes up. And basically tells them to, to leave because it's carrying off their customer. And Romanians do the kind of thing telling him to fuck off. So the, the, the owner of the store comes with his friends and starts harassing the Romanians, right? They get very aggressive. They start pushing at them, shoving them. Um, and eventually the Romanians leave. So after a while, the Romanians come with baseball bats and they start smashing the store. They, they beat every little bit Muslim inside, you know. And it's the, the Eastern European beating, the one where you know how to beat someone to an inch of his life so that they don't die and look bad on camera, but they can make it to the hospital in time. Um, and, and after that, the Muslims were complaining, you know, that the, the Romanians are violent and stuff. Um, and they were the ones that actually said, yeah, we, we went there, you know, we started doing shit with them because uh, we, we didn't want them to keep drinking. And the press didn't know how to report it because it was immigrant versus immigrant violent. You know, it's two groups of marginalized people. And I like how the one story you have to tell us about Romanians is that travelers are violent. <laughs> 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 hey, guys, let me tell you this Romanian story about how gypsies beat people with bats. Yeah, okay? there, there is a difference between assault and self-defense. You know, it, it, like you don't fuck with the man having his drink from Eastern Europe, right? Like you, you need that liquid bread in order to get down with your life. So you know, it's our culture, okay? We live in a multiculturalist society, and if they're going to fuck with this type of culture, we're going to fuck with their culture. It's simple like our that. Our culture's beating people in the face with bats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Do, do you know what a good lesson is? Apparently in Russia, it happened as well. Like, a group of immigrants went into a club and started raping a couple of uh, Russian girls. So so the Russian people so went in with bats. Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, they, they went in with bats, they beat the living shit out of them, and everyone who managed not to get beaten was arrested by the police. The ones that got beaten didn't get arrested by the police. Because it's like, well, you know, let, let, let's save taxpayers' money. You already got your punishment. You know, you're not going to do it again. God, you know what's a really common thread amongst all of this? It seems like violence is the answer, huh, v? Well, it depends violence towards whom, mate. Well, you know? who are the who are the people who are the people uh, that the violence is against in the two stories you just told us? No, see, that's the thing. I don't think it's a Muslim issue. I, I think it's. But your two stories and examples were a Muslim rape and a Muslim. Yeah, but, but listen, Muslim. if the police, if the police would be there and they would enforce the law and the state would have the monopoly on violence, this wouldn't be necessary. You, you wouldn't have ci uh, citizens doing crimes against its own citizens if the law would be enacted. But as we look in the United Kingdom, the police don't want to do anything because they're afraid of being called racist. This is why the, the problem exists. It's because of the establishment and it's because of the journalists that are pushing the idea of political correctness. Now, v, I think I figured out... Oh, oh, go, ahead. go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, man. I was going to say, I think we figured out how to save Europe. We just need to deputize Romanians, send them <laughs> into London, Sweden, everywhere, give them unchecked power to baseball bat people in the face. <laughs> problem solved. Problem stayed solved. Perfect. Well, you're going to have an increasing pickpocketing, but you're going to have a decrease in rape. I mean, you know, maybe an increase in burglary as well, but but again, a decrease in rape and uh, terrorist attacks. I, I gotta say, I, I really am enjoying this conversation. Now, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying Muslims are a problem, but let me tell you all these stories about Muslims being a problem. <laughs> I'm not saying violence is the answer, but let me tell you all these stories about violence solving things. Well, no, l l listen, Perfect. Jim. If you, if you take any group of people you want, let's say people with blue eyes, right? 
and you give them the privilege of the law not being applied to them. Now, some of these people are eventually going to start doing petty crime, like, for instance, you know, not pay taxes, uh, <laughs> go, go, uh, go with the bus without paying for a ticket. But, but eventually they will notice that the law isn't applied to them. So, so they're going to spark into more criminal endeavors. They, they're going to branch out a little bit into some organized crime. Now, the police is cracking down on their competition really hard, so, which means that it's going to flourish for them, right? And, and when they think they're above the law, they're going to act like they're above the law. So, yeah, that, that, that is the reason you're, you're going to say Muslims are the problem. I, I think it would be the same if people with blue eyes would have the privilege of the law not being applied to them. Let me point this out real quick. Chat's pointing out that your your Skype seems to be blowing up again. There's speculation that that could. Oh, be... it's Devil. He wants to come on. Who? Oh, Who? it's it's uh. Start fat otaku, yeah. Okay. Oh. Don't bring him on. Hey, uh... Oh, if if you want him on, yeah. I'll, I'll get him. Send him on. the link. I'll, I'll give him the link. I thought he said it's Devil. That's I was trying to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Uh, Some gypsy term. No, maybe. Uh, in the end, just. Eurofags need to they need to learn. It's fucking. All right. <laughs> I, I so everybody know. except Sargon. The quartering was in the chat trying to get on earlier too. It's 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 kind of uh weird how it's always the same group, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. What you think, right? Yeah. It really gets the uh, trying to throw them the the jive. Jive. <laughs> trying to throw themselves on the grenade to. Uh, Protect the boss, I guess. Yeah. Did, did any one of us deny that we're friends with each other? No, no. Well, we're not we, saying we, it. We, didn't say that. we never said you denied no, shit. Like we're, we're just pointing out a good. common theme. Yeah. It's like, it's like me saying, oh, oh, wow, you, Jim, you don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to see this shit take a place. <laughs> but, but it's like me saying, wow, Jim has a manly voice. Jim is a man. Hmm, really gets the almonds going. You know, it's like, <laughs> I'm not going to fuck you, but thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, the Corian said, fuck off, Ralph. <laughs> dead, dead silence. I gotcha. <laughs> Corian said, fuck off, Ralph. You know if I want it on, I know where the green room is. Well, we're not actually using Discord. And we have had you on the show many times. So I like the quartering, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Where's Sargon, basically, is, is what I'm saying. But all of his friends are around, but he, but he's not here. You, you want the fat figure, don't you, Ralph? I want the what? The fat figure. The fat figure? The fat piggy. Oh, are you yeah. I guess is, is Sargon the fat piggy? Is that your You're not getting the fat figure off. I don't know. Is that I'm your the gatekeeper? Right. Well, I mean, he looks like a bitch. I, I don't know what else to say besides that. Yeah, he's got all his like lieutenants here, but the big boss. All his so friends show up, but he doesn't <laughs> show up. I, mean, I, I don't know. If if you think that's good advice, I I, I can't I can't argue with your political expertise, but. Has he finally caught his flight yet, or is he still waiting at the airport? So, so where is Short Fat Otaku, by the way? Did you send him the link, or what? Uh, he said, I'm going to go on and only address Ralph. Oh, God. Why? Oh, oh, boy. I, I don't is... know. I think it's a bad idea. Like, by what? the way, on, on the record, I, I advise I, I advise Short Fat Otaku. Spicy. Hold on, hold on. I advise Short Fat Otaku that what he's doing is stupid. And he, he should uh, play with By fire. Way, somebody I'm sent me this message. Uh, please call out V on this point. In the past, he's already made himself a fool on purpose to deflect criticism from Sargon. He's stalling you guys right now again. And here we have you. You're telling Sargon not to come on. You're telling uh, Short Feather Taku not to come on. I mean, are, is is that a fair criticism that you just hear to like? Well, if you want me to leave, I can. And, and, and no, you can. Yeah, I'd rather you stay. But I'm just saying yeah, that's that's what somebody listen, messaged me. I, I will tell you uh, the answer to that criticism. There's nothing stopping you from after I leave until the end of time to just criticize Sargon nonstop. That's true. Yeah, I I came here because I'm the man servant, and <laughs> apparently you didn't ask me, but someone else said you did. So I'm here and I'm enjoying this conversation. Okay. I didn't say that. Somebody messaged me that. By the way, I don't think I actually called you a man server. I just said it was like kind of gay to. Let me let me see the exact messages. message that I got. Hold on. I'll... By the way, I sent him the link. I'm kind of gay in certain ways. <laughs> 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 I, I I have to be honest. I actually really like your soundboard. Uh, it's pretty great. Gator's got the best soundboard. Yeah, Gator's in the, business. the one that runs that. He's you yeah, just gotta not <laughs> overplay it. Yeah, it's good shit. Yeah, you gotta pick your moments. Yeah. He's he's the best at it. No, I, I I want it as well because uh, I I could definitely use it. By the way, Jim, yeah, I will yeah. steal some of your jokes in my next video. 
then not okay. Knock yourself out. <laughs> they, they will be mine, and there's nothing you can do. About. Okay. Honestly, the thing with the Merc was kind of funny because uh, I, I pointed it out, like, you know, Jim uh, whispered into Andy's ear. It's like, trademark the liberalist. And Andy was like, yeah, two grand. And I was like, well, why, why don't you sell Mr. Well, Merc? Well, then he, he, got, uh, he got hoisted by his own petard on that one because Halsey copyrighted, what did he, uh, he copyrighted blood sports, I think. Yeah, yeah, he did. yeah, you know the difference between a Jew and a non-Jew? The Jew can do it for 50 bucks and the non-Jew had to do it for two grand. Well, to be fair, he had to do it internationally. Oh. There's a difference, yeah. And oh, yeah, Halsey, I think it's all... Well, actually, I don't know how that works between Canada and America. No, Halsey's in America, so I, do I don't fucking know. I don't know. Like, Halsey explained it. It's like, yeah. you, I think if you trademark it in America, it goes into all the English-speaking language of the Commonwealth or some shit like that, so... But it won't... It won't. It doesn't have any basis to stand, because Bloodsworth has been used... I'm going to do about it. Just, for me, all of this was really stupid, but I mean, it was funny at the time, the, but not $2,000 funny. You know? The first thing, the first one for liberals was a joke. It was literally a joke. It just Yeah, it was a two grand worth of joke. You know, it's just... Whatever. V, 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 he didn't, he didn't copyright it. Do you understand? That's the joke. That's Whoa. the joke. He never copyrighted the fucking thing. Okay. Well, Andy okay, doesn't it's funny. No, no, if, if it didn't, if it didn't, then it's funny. But when he told me, it's like, yeah, I paid two grand for it. And it's like, yeah, why that, aren't you that, laughing at me? That's part, of, like, that's part just... of the setup to the joke. No, okay, then it's funny. I, I understand. But the way it was presented to me at the time is that he paid two grand for it. And I was like, what? I'd pay two grand for a joke. <sighs> Depends on the joke. I, I... Yeah. Why not? Especially, like, if you're going to trademark something you can't enforce. Yeah, you probably It'd have to be the best damn joke in the world because I'd buy a new fucking computer with two thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you I mean people do it? People do it. It's not a crazy thing. I wouldn't see Jim doing it. What's that? I wouldn't see you pay two grand for a joke. I'm not, I'm not gonna pay two grand for a joke. <laughs> You're not going to pay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think even if you'd make twenty grand on Patreon, you would not pay two grand for a joke. But, you know, I mean, then again, to be fair to Andy, if he would have gone through with it, I mean, he was making fucking ridiculous money at the time mm -hmm. from Super Chats. I mean, fuck, in, in that first month of him doing his streams and all that shit, it must have been like 20 grand. Well, oh, no, wait, YouTube takes 30%, don't they? So yeah. and, whatever and then that you pay the taxes, to. Then you pay the taxes, and then you also pay for, you know, the bank account, you know, the transfers. You, you, can, pro you can probably write off the, the trademark as a tax write-off, too. So it would cost a lot less. You would get it back. As a business expense and stuff, yeah, you could do I, that. I guess. No, I think you could probably. That would have been that would have been even funnier if you wrote it off as a fucking I <laughs> business. I, I, I would have. I would have one hundred percent written off as a business business expense. I would have gotten every dime back pretty much, or at least seventy five percent. It would be funny to justify it to the what? What do you guys have there? The IRS? Uh, no, it's it, it's neat. it's it's we just you just have to add it onto your business. No, we're, well, we're first off, we're talking about a Canadian, so yeah. their tax uh, thing is different yeah. altogether. Yeah. No, but, uh, but but you have like an inspection, an audit, or whatnot, you know, and you have to justify like you you have to prove that the expense was actually for the business. It's going to be uh, an interesting. Uh, I see. I, I don't business know about that. Super oh, chats. Oh yeah, yeah I, I, I think they just send a Mountie to your house on a moose, and he asks you, "Is this all right?" And you're like, <laughs> "Yep, it's all right." Okay, buddy, <laughs> thank you, and he leaves. <laughs> Take your word up there, from what I understand, in old Canuck land. Yeah, and stateside, if they audit you, just you uh, give them the paperwork and say you're going to use this for this, this, and this, and most of the time you get you get by. So. But anyway, uh, Jim, now that you're here and it's not your channel, can can you tell us a similar story to Wolfie, like something else you'd like to talk about, but YouTube wouldn't let you? You're I, I I don't know if I want to do it on Ralph's channel because I don't <laughs> want to get Ralph in trouble. <laughs> yeah, <be> <laughs> He's already gotten in trouble a couple We're of times. We're short fed Otaku V. I sent him the invite. It's oh up to him God. if he wants to take it or no, not. Wait, he was did, like, are, are you say, you're saying he came on, said, message you said he was coming on. And yeah, now, he is wanted, he backing out he again? Like, what's, what's yeah, he, he's like, let me talk to Jim. I give him the link and he's not coming on. I think he expected Jim to go like, oh, short fat Otaku is coming. I'm leaving. Why? Why would I ever do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who's scared of short fat Otaku? Upset. Get the fuck like, out of here. No but one's he, scared of that guy. He is Jesus. upset. He he is upset that Jim didn't take his invitation, right? So so he issues an invite. He no, no, v, let's him. yeah, let's no, let's Look, go back. He's to upset. The he's listening to oh, this. Okay, just good, good. On well, good. Let's go back to the beginning of the story. He does a fucking stream, and then he and Scrum Monkey—that's the other guy, right? Scrum Monkey, or is that yeah. the wrong? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, Scrum. It's Scrum. 
Oh yeah, so him and Scrum Monkey invite me on like four or five times. I'm listening over the course of an hour, and so finally I was like, "Fuck it, I'll go on." Then he's like, "Oh God, sorry, we're out of time." And then he says, "We'll reschedule anytime Jim wants to come on. We'll do it Friday three o'clock." Gro boom. Okay, I'm there. Okay, so the I'll first time, wait, wait. The, the no, I'm not even done with my version yet. So <laughs> he invites me and then has to go. Then he schedules a thing and cancels it the next day. Then later that night, he's in. I'm talking to Ralph on Ralph's stream, and Short Fed Taco is in the fucking chat. Yes. And Ralph's like, "Come on, on." And Short Fed Taco is like, "Not going to do it." So three times this guy dodges me. And then what am I supposed to do? Schedule with him again? <laughs> like, do I look like a yeah, fucking I know, retard I know. to you? Like, I, I, I'm all with you on this, but I'll tell you his side of the story, so you know you can judge the other side. So basically, he legitimately had to go. Like, I, I know mm. for a fact that. It was a coincidence. He, he said he had to go play Nintendo. Who are you kidding? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I, I will explain, right? So, so he had to go because his attendant came in, like the, the landowner, in order to see about the broken pipe or some shit. And he expected that would take an hour, right? But it doesn't take an hour. It takes less. And then he's he's back and he goes to play Nintendo. Um, so hey, hey, wahoo, yuppie. No, no, let me, let me, let me. Wow, I'm yuppie. telling you what he said. Okay, I'm telling you what he said. It's not it's not my arguments. It's his. Uh, after that, he does say that he wanted to schedule a stream with Jim, but people on his Discord are saying they're not interested in that type of content, and he should drop it. So, so he drops it, but then wants to reschedule with Jim after he changes his mind, and then is upset that Jim doesn't accept. That's that's his story. That's his version. Okay, just the messenger. I'm the carrier pigeon. Don't shoot me, please. But see, here he is again. Messaging you saying let me on and now he's ducking out again. Like how does not even look? just that, Ralph. He said he'd come on. At first he said yes. he wanted to come on, then he said he'd come on but only talk to you, and now he's not even showing up. Oh man, I don't know. But I, you know, I, I do have a guest. This is wow. I this is wow. I do have a guest who 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 wanted to talk to me. I'll I'll see what happens on that. Uh I'll, I'll send that out. Um Co oh let me guess, Coach Red Pill? Are we gonna have a rematch? Is this Coach Red Pill doesn't want to talk to me? No, we'll I, don't, I don't know. He's getting he's getting feisty. I've seen him in a couple streams. He he's has been like, getting feisty. Yeah, he's, he's looking like he well, he wants a little blood. Did you uh, see yeah. him in the quartering? You did see it. I saw you tweet. Yeah, him in the quartering. Yeah, that, that still is the the funniest fucking quote. Is he? I had what was it? I had uh, three children with four women. <laughs> <laughs> what he said? Who's? <laughs> why I did that makes me laugh. <laughs> I don't get why you said that at all. It was like the weirdest fucking thing. All right, we'll, we'll see. I, I just don't understand why why Short Fat Taco would do this again. Like, this is just... I, I think it's his version of trolling. What's well, wow. not good? Wow. He, he really got us. He really... He, yeah, well, <laughs> like, when you have no he just trolled himself into being another bitch. Congratulations. I, mean, I don't have a personal problem. I just don't think this looks good. That's just... Well, bad. I told him that as well, but, you know, if, if he wants to do it, he can do it. Yeah. Well, this one's not on you. He asked you, V. We're not, we're not throwing this one in your face. No, favorite. no, it's not your fault. Yeah. You wrong. <laughs> we'll give you shit over the Sargon one, but sure, fed a talk. Is on. <laughs> um, okay, I think our guest is, has joined us. Uh, Naked Ape, you're, you're live on the kill stream. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing hey. good, man. How goes, man? It's going pretty good. I mean, I was going <laughs> to say, I at least have the fucking balls to say no. Uh, v, you were asking me to debate you. A little bit to go about the liberalist bullshit that happened. I just said I ain't got the fucking time. I mean, I ain't gonna make promises and then not go through with it. That's just a bitch move, man. Yeah, That's I was going to bring it up. Like, why, why did you want to come on my channel? I, I invited you, I believe, after the Kumate the last time we were there. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll give you the same story I give everybody else. I have a job now. A real fucking life. I have a 401k, furniture, and a puppy. So I have, you know, uh, I'm basically a normie now. I don't have time for internet. Well, I don't know if I should say I'm sorry to hear that, or I'm glad to hear that. I mean, I make, uh, I make, I make, <laughs> I make about as much money as uh, Sargon of the Cat spends on his wife's son. So, uh, <laughs> if that says something, then uh, you know, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Well, then I'm happy for you. But I, I still wish you would come on my channel. I, I cried that night, just so you know. I I I wet that pillow like a motherfucker. Well, I can come on sometime. I'm actually doing um, uh, a sort of bi-weekly thing on my main channel because heaven fucking knows I haven't used that for, for ages. I dusted it off, been doing live streams on it. You want to come on and talk about how fucking pathetic liberalistism and how it's just, <laughs> oh, shit, it's so bad. But, like, I, I just have a question. Do you really think it's not because they're Muslims? 
Like it's it's just the white people being too nice to them. It's nothing about them being, you know, fucking Muslims. That's the problem. Oh, like let me let me rephrase that. Um, I think the the biggest issue is the establishment, the politicians, and secondly, the journalists. Uh -huh. uh, as for the Muslims themselves, I don't think it's because they're Arabs. I think it's because they're Muslim. So but I do think Islam as an ideology is the issue. So you think it's because of the religion, not yes. because of the... All right. And I, I got a, a video coming up where it's a 2010 document by the Islamic community from Qatar, which is basically planning to subvert Europe. And, and they're saying the exact tactics that we're seeing now happening in 2018. Um, so they, they're investing millions of dollars into it. You know, if it was just Arabs, there would be no need for all of this money and all of this organization. I mean, personally, I think I think it's Turkey. Uh, Turkey's been kind of using this as a bully pulpit against the EU because it wants to be in. But yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I don't mean to like go uh, Jonathan Jafari's rich black criminal safari on you, but uh, uh, you know that that kind of criminal spree is true um, among a lot of different socioeconomic factors it's just you know no matter how wealthy you are no matter what you know country you are in there's certain types of people that just so happen to create you know more crime yeah but but the thing is uh with muslims getting rid of them is you know like having a cold you know if the state does its jobs and, and arrest the people who are committing crime rest of the people fall in line um well, but yeah, when but you I mean, to oh, what if they start electing themselves to government like they have in denmark at some point, you have to think that, you know, uh, it's time to, uh, you know, uh, uh, start relocating people. Oh, I, I would, for instance, ban halal meat. I would ban circumcision. I would uh, take away hate speech laws, um, you know, and, and you would have liberal arguments to do it, like banning halal meat, it's cruelty to animals, uh, banning circumcision, it's, uh, uh, huh. you know, do, doing harm to, to a person's bodily is integrity. The liberalist principles that you talk about. Yeah, no. but, but the thing is, right, like, they, they can't accuse you of being far right for doing it. They can't accuse you of being authoritarian for doing it. Well, um, they, they can't say, why can't they? Authoritarian. What, what exactly is it authoritarian? Like, it's a human right not to have your body fucked with by someone else. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, you can say that. But at the same time, it's also a quote unquote human right to be able to practice your religion. Uh, without, you know, infediment. In fact, that's yeah, a liberal principle. has human sacrifices, Naked Ape, you're not going to have that shit. You know, if someone wants to revive the Aztec religion and pull out people's hearts on pyramids, you're, you're not going to allow that shit. I mean, so, it, yeah. it's, pretty, it's pretty clear, like, in the liberalist principle webpage, everybody is free to practice their religion or not, as long as it does not interfere with the rights of others. So, you yeah. know, they can and do it, whatever. And it does interfere want. with the rights of others, the, the right of the person not to have his dick amputated. Like halal food, whose whose rights is you know is um uh is violated by halal food? We we have animal rights here in Europe. There there's already laws for it. Yeah, so so the animals have the rights, then not the people. No, you you do it like uh, animals have been granted right by our civilization inhumane. not to be treated inhumanely, right? If you want to to slaughter an animal, there is a way to do it. If they want halal meat, I guess they could import it from countries that don't have animal rights, like Saudi Arabia, but they're going to have to pay extra because that meat crosses the border. So your answer to, the uh, to this problem is to ban all the things that Muslims like, and then maybe they'll go away? If, if, they are, if they are against human rights, yes. There is absolutely no reason why a child's penis needs to be mutilated. I, I don't think that pedophilia is a thing, even if their religion allows it. Um, in our country, we, we have laws against polygamy. Uh, I, I guess if you're going to advocate and say, well, V, that's, that's against their rights, you know, like polygamy should be allowed, or right, fine, I'll give you that. But halal meat and circumcision and especially female genital mutilation, they have to go. So those if three they things. Live here. If they don't want to live here, they can live somewhere else. You get rid of those three things and the Muslims will just leave. That'll solve um, the problem. Apparently, they're, they're trying that in uh, Iceland, and the Jewish and the Muslim communities say there can't be Judaism without circumcision. So, yes, I think some of them, if not the more radical ones, are going to leave. Or at least they won't come here. And by the way, in the video that uh, I'm going to talk about the, the Qatarian convention, they're actually furious that Europe is secular, and they want to attack the secularism by promoting Islam identity. Um, mm. So yeah. no wonder why that is. 
Yeah, that, 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 that's the thing, you know, that they've been eroding at our cultural values in order to promote their cultural values instead. Um, and, and they're talking about using the media, using the universities, and using politicians in order to do it. By the way, still no response from uh, Short Fototaku. Uh, I think he went to bed. Oh, what a, what a shock. <laughs> what a shock. He's <laughs> mystified by this tournament. Oh, um, I don't know how closely you've been following the program, Naked Ape. Uh, what do you think about Sargon? Uh, I don't know if you saw some of his comments. Uh, Bitching out about uh, um, uh, on uh, fucking Tommy Robinson. Yeah, he bitched out on Tommy Robinson. He, he kind of uh, trashed Jim, and he's definitely watching the stream, but he wouldn't show up either. He trashed so. Jim? I didn't fucking hear that. Yeah, he did. Uh, oh, there sure we... is here. Oh, wait, is he? V, yeah. v, you never linked wow. the fucking thing in the chat. Well, you, you can't do this, but you can't ask me for a link and then pussy out. It you didn't really drop bad. the link. Dude, I just DM'd it to you. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I saw okay. it, Ralph. What's okay, up? okay, okay. Yeah, what's, what's up, up, dude? So you're here. Yeah. Jim's here. Hey, Jim. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry. Is he talking to me? Or is this coming through Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, man? I you know I, you're the one that wanted to come on. So what's up? Oh no, not not really. V just said all, you I'll messaged support. him asking to come on. <laughs> I, I, I can read it if you like. I, I, well, yeah. If if them, I'll tell him how you really feel. Come on, I'll support. You. If V's a liar, okay. I'd love to hear it. Yeah, tell us okay. what he said. Uh, One sixteen a.m. Uh, Devo, Jim wants you on. I said yes. I heard. That, that's the extent of the conversation. I, I interpreted that as another, well. another, <laughs> another liberalist caught in a lie. What a shock. Oh, hold, on, hold on. After that, <laughs> he points out and he says, um, let me, let me, I'm going to go on and only address Ralph and just to say it's all a troll up by you and leave before they can reply. Ha ha V, you shit, though. No. Yes, that, 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 that was the joke that we wanted to play, but it's okay. You you can't push me under the bus, mate. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not pushing you under the bus. I'm, I'm not going to go under the bus. That's the fact. The bus goes over me. Yeah. Now, who <laughs> is this guy that just jumped on now, V? I think we're we're lacking some uh, some. Uh, that's that's not on me, by the way. V, uh, you gave me the link. The fuck? Did you give it to, did you give it to the wrong person, V? <sighs> no, this is probably <laughs> a troll from Devil. What? what no, the... no, 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 no! I'm not responsible for this. V, why did you give me the link? What is this? <laughs> the fuck are you? I don't even know you. Oh, the fuck are you? I don't know you either, so you're going to have to stay. Yeah, just kick him, man. Just kick him. Oh, <laughs> well, I can't actually kick him, but I can just mute him. I no, Ralph, Ralph, I don't swear this is not yes, me. Yes, 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 yes. Ralph, I swear. Don't, it's don't not you me. dare mute me, you piece of this shit. This is pathetic behavior by the liberalist, I have to say. What are you going to do about yeah, it? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at it, unless I did it by mistake, but I, I can't see giving the link to anyone else besides Devil. Well, you never gave it to me, V. The fuck did I give it to them? And who is Montgomery? I I don't know this person. Oh my god! <laughs> Sounds what really convincing. Is going what, on. what the fuck are you doing, V? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> well, I can tell that's a liberalist, V, because he's reading a book about black children. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> well, but make him make, make him show make, make him show where I gave him the link. Like uh, all our wives, him. he's reading all our wives' children. Uh, make him show receipt. Where, where exactly did I give him the link? <laughs> the sub line. Show the link, mate. <laughs> show a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> show a receipt. Come on. Well, I mean, Short Fatataku just called you a liar himself and said you said that Jim wanted him on, which Jim never said. So, like, what what kind of gypsy subterfuge are we witnessing it, it, here? It was it was on the stream. He was talking about Devo. Well, you know, Ralph. Are, I mean, are you this, trying to spark this, a romance here, V? Ralph, this does fall in line with the shit that I mean. You know, V as the right hand man of the Don himself. I mean, Sargon did go on the Kumite and said that he lies when it's convenient. Oh, I mean. The state of you fucking liberalists, I swear. It, fucking it, shameful. Maybe my recollection is incorrect. I don't think it is, but I, I don't think uh, Short Fedotaka really came up until you said he wanted on, right? Am I wrong about that? or We're, we're going to have to rewatch the stream. I, I think Jim oh. was talking about... Well, it, it yeah, happened well, like... Sure to do that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have yeah, a visual yeah. memory of it. Oh, I do remember Jim was talking about him, and then I, you know, I told Devo that Jim wants you on. And after that, oh. Devo said, 
I'm going to come on, just say a few things, and then I'm going well, to. Well, anyway, he's here now. You're here now. So yeah, are, are you basically chastising me for making this happen? Is this what no, we're doing? No, I'm just saying, like he's here, but now he's trying to say he didn't really want to come, and you tricked him. And anyway, you're here now, so. Well, I, I mean, I don't really have much to say. How's it going? I I can mediate. So okay, um. Jim, uh, Devo made like what I would call a very tame stream about you, but you had plenty of grievances regarding that stream. Oh which yeah, I no, you want me. you want me to list through them? Yeah, yeah I mean, just, go, let's go through the grievances. Th there was the uh, let me invite him on, then let me say I've got to go. Let me schedule a stream with him, and then let me not you know cancel it the next day. Let me uh, show up in Ralph's chat, but then not come on the stream with uh, with Jim. Uh, that that I would think is kind of bitch material. Uh, also, I find it funny with the. Though. I just want to talk about his history. Let me show this folder called Jim's Docs. I'm not going to show him, guy, the guys, but I'm going to. I'm going to have that sitting up in the corner. Like, come on! I mean, that's so fucking obvious. It's so transparent with that kind of shit. And then try to play it off like this isn't a doxing stream. I'm not trying to send a message, but I do have this folder front and fucking center called Jim's Docs. Didn't get it from my guest. I got it myself. I went out and got it, and I verified. I don't think it's real, which means you took the time to look through it. So, like, I mean, it comes off as, like, petty shit. This isn't you're looking through history. I, I, I don't know what your fucking issue is, but it's been ongoing for a while. And I also like the life coach advice. Like, uh, Jim isn't living up to his full potential. Yeah, tell me, Mr. 20 viewers a stream, how can I achieve what you have? Regarding the life coach, that's more Latman than me. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, the other stuff, though, uh, that, that was entirely a liberalist pot plot coming from Sargon himself. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's really cute. I can't help it if Sargon's got people around him that do shit like this. You crowd others. I mean, maybe that's a character of people he has around him. I don't know. How, how'd you respond to this accusation, though? Um, nothing really to say. These are some I, hot. Ba these are some hot bands. I was really. I mean, you were really. Oh, yeah, you know what this is happen, Jim? Well, you, like, okay, that, that, that's so, what you get. I mean, <laughs> Jim, Jim, I didn't, I didn't dox you. I mean, I don't know if you're, if you're mad about me not George doxing Tadataku. you or yeah, about I mean, me looking at them, but it's, it's not a big deal. Man. Oh, you know, don't try to be this simpering little fuck. Okay, you're, you're transparent <laughs> as shit by putting it up on your screen, like, oh, I've got this. Ooh, let me, let me try to intimidate Jim by alluding to the fact that I may or might not have his docs. Oh, and let me go through his history while showing that I might or might not have his docs. Don't try to back down, you little bitch. At least have the balls to be upfront about it. What a simpering little cunt you are. Were you intimidated? No, because you're a fucking pussy that can't intimidate shit. But it doesn't mean well, you didn't it doesn't, try. it doesn't matter much then, does it, Jim? The attempt was still made, wasn't it, faggot? Well, if you aren't intimidated, then it's not a threat. I guess exactly. It requires an act of intimidation for it to be a threat. I mean, there, there, there's not much here. I don't, I don't know why you're, you're mad about internet stuff, Jim. I mean, come on, we're just having fun. Yeah, no, no, it's really fun. I mean, you don't look like a giant, massive asshole, short fat taco, by having folders like that and talking about it and alluding to it, and you know, trying to play a badass when you're just a little bitch that one doesn't have the balls to go through with it, two couldn't find the information if somebody dropped it in your fucking lap, and three try to backpedal away from it like it's not a big deal. No, I, I think it was you were trying to attempt to allude to a few things with it, but again, you're such a weak-willed cunt that it just didn't work out for you. And V, don't give me this uh, you know, half-assed defense that, oh, it's not a threat if you're not intimidated. Motherfucker, a blind guy could go wave a gun around because just because he can't hit shit with it doesn't mean there wasn't an intent on his part to intimidate people by waving the fucking gun around. <sighs> Well, Jim, I, I do apologize for, for rescinding that invite. I, should, I shouldn't have invited you in the first place. That was entirely my bad. Yeah, uh, that, was, no, that was your bad. No, 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 yeah, yeah you, you got me on that. But I don't really have anything to say about anything else. Um, I had a good stream. I had fun. That's about it. Okay. All right. Well, hey, go fuck yourself. It was nice talking to you, man. Yep. Drink bleach. <laughs> 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 Oof. It can cure the gay. <laughs> <laughs> Think so. Huh. so. Is this just a, a a liberalist plot? But 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 just just to get it straight, hundred percent like, liberalist if, plot. If, if he would manage to prove that he didn't try to to threaten you with the docs or anything like that, um, 
are, are there any other things that he said in the stream that upset you? V, I, I like how you're trying to spin this. Like, this was some great troll op by this faggot, which it wasn't. Uh, but it's pretty clear what his intent was. I don't think anybody that's, you know, uh, has a functioning fucking brain couldn't see, you know, see it for what it was. Uh, v? What if the faggot subjectively, like, in, in his personal opinion, thought that this is So good. if I did a history of Sargon of Akkad, and then I had a folder on my desktop that said Sargon's children's information. But I was like, that's not really his kid's information. I just have it sitting there for fun. Don't get mad, Carl. You know, maybe it has the information where your kids go to school, but I'm not going to show it. You, you don't think that would get a reaction, V? I mean, you don't think that's a clear well, yeah, intent? That's, that's what trolling is, isn't it? Like, you know, someone sending certain pictures to one's mother. Don't you think that gets a reaction? I mean, I mean V, I... Listen, I, I've seen you do this kind of spiel for Sargon, where everybody, anybody, I, I was actually really interested. Well, I'm doing it for Devo now. It's not, it's not Sargon. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is that you do this thing for Sargon, where you be become this like little lap dog, like whenever anybody talks shit about him, you protect him. Like you come on and you just bark, 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 and Sargon did nothing wrong. Why are you putting your neck out for this? Like, what is it about this piece of shit that has you defending him? Like, why? I mean, like, is it really like you know, uh, like uh, that big of a deal that your fellow liberalists? But Devil is not a liberalist, by the way. Well, whatever. Is, is it is not, really that big of a deal? In Somebody in your circle. Well, why did you mute me, Ralph? So, so I it looks like mute I don't him. have. Uh, it's, it's this other guy that's uh, yeah, uh, you, you yeah, probably gave your if link you see to, uh, come in, just to By the way, I didn't recognize that was Millennial Matt, but he wasn't invited, so I would, I would definitely block him again. Anyway, go ahead and continue. Yeah. Um. So just but, like, why, why are you going so far out of your way to defend something that's really like, like it's pretty clear, it's shitty well, behavior. Again, like, what? Why are you going out of your way to attack people that I know when I'm on a stream? You know, <laughs> let, let, let me put it this serious? way. Uh, naked yeah. ape, na naked ape. Oh, I, I defended, I, I defended other people like Brave and Ruin, for instance. Like I defended Tonka in the beginning. Like if it's someone. Oh, wait, let me say this, Jim. You have to ignore this. You have to go and click his thing, and then click ignore, and then he'll. My hand hurts when it slaps you. Stop attacking me. Seriously, V. It, this is pathetic. No, okay, that's your opinion. But it's, I, I'm, I'm not going to change my attitude. Eye. This but, is pathetic. That's Ape. the stupidest thing I've ever heard from you. Stupider oh, than the liberalist, uh, than the fucking liberalist list of uh, 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 list of jack off tips that you have online. It's stupid. You're not that retarded. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ape, if are if you someone lying? Would come in, listen, if someone would come in and say shit about you that I personally know is not true, I would defend you. Okay. It, and, 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 if, if that makes no you feel less of me, that's not true. V. Quit with the bullshit. This is clear cut. He did. If and I haven't seen the stream, so okay, I'm. I, 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 I can I can prove to you that it's not bullshit. I can prove to you that it's not bullshit. On my <laughs> channel, there's video evidence of me defending Richard Spencer, defending. Uh, oh, Oscar. for fuck's sake! Shut up. Talk, I, I was Richard one of the only ones that wasn't part of the outright and gave a fair shake of the Charlottesville event. I, I think I'm on record of every single time that I see something that I know is not correct, I'm calling it out. Now, yeah, I, I've seen many of your YouTube videos, and I know they can debunk me, but you know, I, see, the I'm thing is, you're a subscriber, what, donate to my why Patreon. Are you, why are you defending this? This isn't somebody lying, okay? Nobody is lying. This is just, these are the facts. He Be did something. I, I have up. been convinced. Why Look, listen, I, I will explain. I will explain why, why, why I'm defending it, right? I'm 100% convinced that Deva wasn't trying to dox Jim. Like, if you, if you are asking me right now to put money on this issue, I am 100% convinced that he was not trying to, to get Jim's dox. Not trying to get Jim... Okay, so I didn't watch this. He wasn't this trying movie. to get Jim dox. He wasn't trying to threaten Jim. Well, Naked Ape, let me, let me set the stage for you. Uh, Short Fat Otaku starts a stream up, and he's got uh, Latvi Man, somebody that was on the Medicare forums. And he's like, we're going to talk about Medicare history. And then he opens up a folder. And in the folder, there's all this Medicare shit. And then and the very first folder is Jim's docs. And then it comes out later on Ralph's stream that Latvi Man isn't the one that gave that to him. He went out and found it himself. So he added that to the fucking folder of Medicare history. So I'm not saying he's trying to dox me. I'm trying to say that he's a pussy that thought that would be like, oh, I got you, Jim. Or, oh, I'm going to intimidate you, Jim. 
but it just didn't work. And then V's trying to, you know, obfuscate and try to make it sound like, well, if you're not intimidated, it's not a threat. It, no, that's but that's, that's the definition of a threat. It's like, if you're not intimidated, like, I mean, in order to threat that's someone, that's the that person thing I've ever heard from you. Like, like, you always do this thing when you argue. It's one of the reasons why, you know, talking to you is a pain. Okay. You always do I'm this. Using what about proper words, I know. Yeah. You do this what aboutism. Okay. What about this? What about that? Well, here's an example. Have you ever seen a spider on the ground? You just smoosh it. You know, you, you just bring up this useless bullshit that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Okay. So, so first things first, if he did it with the intent to actually intimidate somebody, that's a shitty thing to do. Okay, Deva, did you do it with the intent of intimidating Jim? Be fucking honest. No. That's what he told me, right? And, and given all the things that I know about him, I'm willing to believe him. Now, I guess you're not willing to believe him, and that's fine. You know, there, there's no way I can prove it. Yeah, but, like, let's dig it a little bit deeper. Your argument isn't that he didn't intend to intimidate Jim. Your argument was, it doesn't matter because you weren't intimidated anyway, so just stop talking about it in our liberalist conspiracy. Like, like you give well, okay, so, so, so when I was being trolled and Jim gave me advice to stop talking about it, it fucking worked. You know, the people trolling me went away, and now I was giving him the same advice, because let, let's now analyze it well, from v, a different I, I want to be really That's fucking clear here. No, 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 V, I want to be really fucking clear here. Are you Sargonites telling us that you want to enter the trolling game? I mean, do you really want to step into that fucking arena? If you want to play banter and troll around, if you and Short Fed Otaku and Sargon want to enter that world, I mean, that's fine by me, but be clear about it. Is that what you want to engage in? Well, I'm not yeah. trolling anyone, and I'm not making banter. I'm just observing that Devo stream usually has like 400 people watching. Yeah, I saw and a fucking stream he did a couple yeah, days no, ago. No, no, hold video on, game hold stream on. With let me, 20 let me people watching it. 20 fucking people watching it. Yeah, 20 people watching it. The moment you tweet about it, a stream where allegedly you're about to get docked and you're v, tweeting v, about you, it, you, you have he's it wrong, got a thousand five hundred people this watching. Exactly. So what about him? Well, you know, it's not a lot about it. Like you, you gave about. this man publicity, Jim. Right? You gave this man publicity. V. He had people watching his stream. He had more people tuning in than ever before. V. Well, v. maybe it, let, let me go out on a limb and say that you know, uh, say that you know, you you should be able to like you know divine this. Maybe Jim's trying to you know point out how shitty this behavior is, because he's you know correct me if I'm wrong, Jim. You're not afraid of your docs getting out there because you're certain it's not out there. You just wanted to point out, wow, this guy's being a huge douchebag. Like, like I mean, v, like this is, again, just changing the topic. What about ism? People it's have been talking about my docs since yeah. fucking Gamergate. I mean, it's it's been five years, so yeah. I, it's obviously when, something I've, I'm accustomed to fucking <laughs> listening to. When you're, when you're with Karen on a stream, and yeah. when you're with Baked Alaska and you start screaming, like losing your composure, which you never do, only when your docs is yeah, being... Yeah, V, again, how is this hard for you to understand? I'm so sick of you. Uh, it's, it, put Baked Alaska aside for a second. I'm so fucking sick of these ex-Gamergate faggots engaging in the behavior they decried when it was popular in a hashtag. Yeah, but you know what's you the difference? Have, SJW is no, actually... No, no, no. You me. know what, V? You would have flipped your shit if it had been a Zoe Quinn or a Brianna Wu, but now it's different, right? This is the kind of fucking double standard shit you faggots engage in that is just infuriating. That's you, what you bothers forget. me. Hold I mean, on, you can forget that I've been doxxed, my family has been so doxxed. Everyone that I've been associated with have been doxxed, and it wasn't by the SJWs. I know how it is. Okay? And you know what I did? I fucking ignored it. I took your advice. R R v, this is again, this is you just changing the I topic. I don't fucking care your opinion on the issue, mate. I'm talking with Jim. And by the way, Devo, you wanted to say something because you're a VVV a, a couple of seconds ago. Yeah, yeah. Reg regarding the numbers, uh, dumping with Scrump Live usually gets around four hundred. My video game streams get around twenty. That that's that's it. The 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 Medicare stream got about a thousand after Jim tweeted about it. Yeah, my, that's my point. Like you advertised for this guy's channel, Jim. You played it to his game. He he got money from AdSense and he got more super chats just because you tweeted like twice while he was live. Well, I'm I'm sorry. Me shit posting gets him more viewers than his content can get him. <laughs> Like, what do you want me to apologize for his, his inability to draw in an audience? <laughs> like, what's the no, argument? But my, my point is you're not legitimately upset, right? Because if, I don't know, some smaller YouTuber would, would make a stream about me where he would reveal private information, I wouldn't raise awareness of that thing to give him even more eyeballs. You know, I, I wouldn't drive business towards him.
Okay, I, I just wanted to be clear. If this is the game you guys want to engage in, I'm more than willing to engage in it. I, I'm not engaging in any game, Jim. I'm no, just no, trying you to fuck you up. Sent, uh, you've sent a clear signal to me it's today, so B, fucking uh, of like how that, to proceed. That's how you <laughs> interpret it. My point was that this man was making money off of you, <laughs> and you're <laughs> trying to think that he was legitimately you're trying to... You're ignoring the point. The explanation you're, is you're more clear. You're going out of fucking... He's just doing this in order to promote his business. It's not, it's not to dox you. It's just to, to drive drama... And have people talk about him, and suddenly, from you know, as you pointed out in a tweet, who the fuck is Short Fat Otaku? Now people know who Short Fat Otaku is. Yeah, they and, know and he's the only a, reason he, they, they know, know he's an untalented him. bitch, so it didn't really work out for him, did it? I I don't know. Like from from his small twenty people watching, he got forty people watching now. Okay, hold a parade in my fucking honor then. <laughs> Yeah, but that's that's what I'm saying. Like y you played into his game, right? I if he wants to build up an audience, and he's a small YouTuber, fucking with big YouTubers is how he's going to do it. And and, and the what, why are you defending his game? I'm not defending his game. I'm just pointing it out. It's yeah, so fucking yeah, obvious. Yeah, I just don't understand why people have to make it political about everything. Yeah, but you're the one who's chosen this response, okay? Like, like you seem to be like uh, um, uh, acting like you're just strung along in this conversation. Like you're just responding to, oh my God, what's that? You were just actively choosing to talk about this conversation instead of talking about what a fucking shit thing it is to do. So, yeah, I, I think it is a shit thing to do. No, I, I, I do think fucking with bigger YouTubers for the sake of getting oh, an audience. Finally, is a thank you, V. Thank you, V, for finally coming out and saying it. Why did it take that long? Well, no, because the conversation up till now was about the fact that he was trying to threaten or dox Jim, and I don't think that's the case. I think he was trying to to fuck with a bigger YouTuber in order to get an audience, and that's I think that was what successful. you said. That's not what you said at all. What you first said is, "Well, you're not intimidated, so it's not really bad." Yeah, that that's my point. He wasn't you intimidating Jim. He was trying to Which build up is the true love of you? Mate. You've gone back on yourself three different times. Like no, you're mate, lying. I didn't, I didn't go I didn't back. Go we back. Watched, watched the stream. I think I'm pretty clear. <laughs> in, in chat, didn't he say that if it's not in, if it didn't intimidate you, it's not I really bad. I did say that, and I also That's exactly what you said. Naked ape, are you incapable of holding in your monkey brain more than two thoughts? Okay, I did point out that it's not a threat. And because it's not a threat, it's because he wasn't threat. trying to it's intimidate him, said. can you it's shut the fuck up yeah. for a little bit so I can explain my point? Thank you very much. My point is that it's unlikely he was trying to threaten Jim. It's far more likely that he was trying to build a subscriber base for his channel, and it is a shitty thing to do. Any questions? So we're finally going to stick to this one. This is the line we're sticking to. Oh, my fucking God. Are all faggots like you, May? Like, is, is taking the dick all the way up to your brain, making you incapable of, of hold more than two thoughts in it, and follow a, a simple train of thought? Well, I mean, like, this is the train of thought that I've followed. You've, you've defended his behavior. You tried to uh, shut off as no big deal. You tried to talk about anything else about uh, than this being a bad thing. And now, finally... When you're backed up into a corner, you're finally going to say, oh, yeah, that is something that's against my liberalist ethics. Finally, I have to say, yes, it's bad. Well, what does this have to do with liberalism, mate? Devil is not even into politics. He's not the well, liberalist. He's a troll on the internet. Bag it, you stupid piece of shit. You, you act like such a prissy little cunt, B. You throw out all the insults. You act like a little wallflower. Some, somebody's teasing me. Oh, my God. You see, this is what people I, like. I think, I think this is your beef with me shut personally. The fuck up you, didn't want fuck to you never shut up, V. Shut the fuck up. You won't do this. Uh, v, did you just mute Naked Ape? Well, he muted yeah. me first. That if that's he how we each other. Okay. Okay. Shut stop up, v. Just stop interrupting wait, 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 for don't, one fucking second. Don't mute, don't mute each other, though. Come on. You're, right. you're Ralph. All do this shit. All you bigger yes. YouTubers. I've seen it from all of you. It's what pisses me off. You do this shit. Bigger you YouTuber, think I have barely 100,000 sub. Just I, for the fuck am I a big YouTuber, mate? Can you just shut the fuck up? Seriously, V. Y'all do this shit, right? You yes, don't. Guys, can we not mute each other? Well, don't Let's, have to stop it. I I'm agree. Not I agree. Don't mute each other. Let a naked ape talk. I, I, and I'm sorry if you can't talk over another person. I'm that's sorry okay. if you're right. so insecure. I'm sorry, V. I shouldn't have to talk over you. Shut the fuck up. Language. 
All right, all right, For all fuck's right. sake, man. Make it a, go ahead and make your point, and then V can make his point. Okay, so go ahead. You all do this, whether it's Sargon, whether it's Shoe on Head, all of you. You act like prissy little cunts. You act like assholes. You talk a big game of shit. You talk about how ethical you are, how wonderful you are, how terrible these other people. Then you fling a little bit of shit, and you act like a huge bitch when you get some flung back. All right, now let V respond. Go ahead, That's V. That's exactly what you do. I, All I, of you. Let him respond. Go ahead, I, I would like Naked Dave to show a line where I'm talking about how ethical I am and what a big shit I am. <laughs> uh, to, to show a line where I even talked to Sean Head. Like, I never <laughs> spoken with that woman, as far oh, as I remember. Off. Oh, oh shit. Let, let him finish. Oh. Go ahead, V. Just because you're saying it doesn't make it true, Naked Dave. I, I, I've i dealt with people that like to repeat the lie until it sticks. Right, the, no, ahead, it's yeah. an observation. It's an observation based on your behavior. Well, then you, you can you prove it. It, it. it should be easy to prove. Go on my channel and show where I talk about how ethical I am. Where, where have you I've ever talked about ethics? Never have I talked about ethics. No, where I say that I am an ethical person. Go on my channel. <laughs> I've never said that I was an ethical person. Ever. You've never said, you've never talked about what is It's easy to prove ever. it, Naked Ape. It's easy to prove it, isn't it? Yeah. Probably is. Hey, hey chat, uh, internet, why, why don't you go ask, when has V ever been involved in anything concerning <laughs> ethics? Well, Make when, it when did that ever again, happen? Like, you are not able to understand words. I have said, prove what I say that I myself am an ethical person. By the way, V, you're echoing a little bit. I don't know if that's the stream you got turned on or what, but yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay. So, so now the line is, I'm not ethical. I have no standards. Don't hold me to ethical standards. No, is that my, what my point with? is, my, my, my point is that maybe my I have made mistakes in the past, okay? But it's not like you're saying that I go on, brag about being ethical, and, and I, I beat my chest like a monkey saying I'm the most ethical person in the world. Everyone should be like me. I have never done that. You have never been involved in anything involving holding people to ethical standards, ever. Can, can you think about anything, V? Any yeah, group you know, discussion like, you've been involved I, I, in that dealt with my, my standards to ethical were, standards? Like, let, let me remind myself. My standards were don't fuck with people that you're reporting on. You know, like if, if you're fucking someone and you're making a review on, uh, make a disclosure. You know, if, if you're going to take money from someone, disclose it. Yeah, th th those are the things that I've talked about. And I don't think I have done any one of them. But the thing you're talking about here, you know, like don't pick a fight with a bigger YouTuber uh, in order to, to, to gain subscribers and shit. I personally never done that either. But you know what? I don't think I ever said, oh, don't, don't speak with other people. Like, if, if you know any other journalists, don't, don't talk with them. You know, if you know any other YouTubers, don't talk with them. Don't, don't have friends that are also YouTubers. You know, don't, don't go on, on, on Discords and on Skypes and talk with other people. I have never said that, okay? And you're trying to hold me to some ethical standards that I have never advocated for. Wait, V, didn't you just literally say that earlier when you told Sargon not to go on stream with us? <laughs> yeah, but that's an advice, mate, okay? Do you know what happened in Game Journal Pro? If, oh, if, someone, if someone would have told the journalist not to do something, like donate to Zoe Quinn, and he wouldn't, he would have been run out of the industry. They'll stop doing business with him. You I know, it's am Gamergate. <laughs> it's, it's exactly. A... Finally, someone fucking says it. You were involved in Gamergate, you stupid piece of shit. You condescending asshole! You were yeah, involved like, in this great. Yeah, th this is a straw man. You're, you're straw manning so hard right yeah. now, and you know it. Even it's when I was in Gamergate, I wasn't saying, "Oh my God, look at me! Let's look, look how how ethical I am! I'm a bastion of ethics, and everyone should follow me." I yeah. have never said that. The only you've thing that I said, that, maybe you, you shouldn't fuck people that you're reporting on. And if you take money from someone else, you should disclose it. That's it. Have I done any of these things, Naked Ape? Let me, let me present like this, this sort of uh, the, this vast conversation, okay? I begin with saying you're a bitch. You're a slimy little cunt. You know why? Because you throw shit and you act like a little whiny cunt when you get shit thrown back. About your liberalism. About that kind of shit. And then you change the topic. I've never said that I was an ethical person. And I'm finally saying, well, you were involved in Gamergate, weren't you? You're so fucking specific on the semantics. You're yeah, I am specific so on the semantics. When you go on that. Naked Ape and you say, people like you, people like Shoe on Head, you like to brag about how ethical you are. 
And I say, where did I ever brag about being ethical? And you're like, you're involved in Gamergate. And I said, well, and during the time I was in Gamergate, was I bragging about myself being an ethical person? Or was I just asking people not to fuck others when they're giving v, game reviews? You like right? to hold other people where accountable. Where exactly am I a hypocrite? V, you like to hold other people accountable. You don't like being held accountable. That's exactly how you give me, give me a thing that I held someone accountable to a thing that I personally partake in. Like, I, I told someone else, don't do this, and I was doing it. Come on, give, give me a specific example, Naked Dave, because you probably thought of a couple. And I haven't have muted them, by the way. I'm just kind of at a loss. I mean, I'm just thinking. Because you're so full of shit. You just come here with baseless accusations and you try to straw man issues. And when someone asks you, give me a concrete example of something that I have done, right? I told someone else, don't do this. And I personally did it. And you can't come up with shit. I mean, I just really don't understand, like, why no, you're no, choosing this. By the way. That's what this all thing was about. It's all about why are you defending this? Why are you going so upset about this? Then what I'm doing is I'm just generalizing. It's a general statement, V, to be honest with you. Yeah, which you can't prove. A statement about you and all your friends, how you all seem to act, how everything seems to fold together, the sort of egoistic pile of goo that's up there in that YouTube sphere. The thing that I well, find give disgusting me a specific example, all of example, it. Naked Dave. By the way, before you guys respond, let me say this while there's still a bunch of people watching. Thursday night, we're going to have Dick Masterson here on the kill stream, so I just want to put that out there, and any gentleman can continue. I can think of a specific example with Sargon and Tommy, um, uh, and Tommy. I can think of a specific example with you and this doxing guy. That's actually the specific example I'm talking about. Okay, it's, let's let's go through the one. On your high horse, what whenever exactly it, did I do? Yeah, which, get which on your high horse whenever it suits you. Yeah, no, whenever, give me give me the example with Sargon and Tommy. Come on, let's go through it. Well, I mean, you know, uh, with Sargon, he was. Uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, defending Tommy in, well, not really a, uh, a muscular liberalist way is how I would say. You know, Tommy's freedom of speech wasn't really all that important to him, it seems. Sargon went to Hyde Park Corner and talked about Tommy Robinson. He went into the, uh, the march. Uh, he also talked about it on his channel, reported that he got arrested. Like, what, what exactly more would you have expected? I mean, pretty sure. I mean, to be honest with you, this is secondhand. I haven't actually okay, watched. Well, it. Well, I'm asking you for evidence. Like, tell me something that I told someone else. Don't do this, and I have personally did it. We, we've been for ten minutes right now. You couldn't find a single the example. Entire conversation about this, this entire thing. V, you're trying to change the subject to something well, that you I, know. I, I, I'm asking you. Give me an example. You the made the next thing. Just back about, it up. The it, the entire the entire conversation is about how long it took you. To come to the point to say that, you know, this guy is being an asshole. How you defended him exactly. You didn't just say, oh, don't talk about it because it's going to get him. But you defended him. Yeah, exactly. I defended him because you accused him of trying to dox Jim. I pointed out. Yeah, and I said, let, let, me, let me tell you my defense because I think I know my defense, right? That. My defense was that he wasn't trying to dox Jim. He was trying to start drama no, with no, a bigger no, channel no, in order to get you're subscribers. A liar. You're a fucking liar. Okay. You said specifically, if it didn't intimidate you, it's not bad. That, that was part of the first defense on why I based That was my part assumption. of your first defense. Fucking can, can finally. You, can you wait so, so you can. Right. Out of your ass so so that was enough. part of my Talk first defense it. in order to justify why I don't think that he was doxing Jim. It's right? 10 I, minutes to get you to admit that that's exactly what you said. You've lied. You've, okay, dist now, You've distracted from the truth. For ten fucking minutes, V. No, I, I, I think I think you're a monster, else. and you can't understand. This. You can't understand See, the train of thought. V, I said v, that I don't v, think v, that he was trying to dox Jim. I, I said that I don't think that he was trying to dox Jim, and I have based this. That on is the not fact what she said. That you're lying I, I based this on the fact lying that again, what he did is under the front. And For because Jim sake. wasn't intimidated, I don't think Devil's actions were to dox Jim. I think Devil's actions was to try to grow his subscribers on his channel. And in order to do this, he had to get a reaction out of Jim. And I do think that is a piece of shit of thing to do. Okay? That is my no, statement. Wait. You interpret it however you like. V, right. that's not what now, you Now, let's said. talk about you for a second, Naked Ape. You made an accusation, right, about me. And I want you to back it up or else you're a liar. 
So you say that I tell people to behave in a certain way, but I behave in the way different than what I ask other people to do. Can you give me some examples or are you a liar? Well, V, let's go back to this initial thing because this could be a misunderstanding, okay? Let's ask you a question. So what I see from this is you just, you know, uh, changing the story again and again. Now, you've distracted from the actual conversation for so long. I, I see you gaslighting, Last but everything is recorded. You know, people can rewatch the stream. You don't have to go back. Like, there, there is a button on a slider which people can so go back. So, let's, let's do me a favor. Don't bring up any more whataboutisms, okay? Don't it's bring not up a whataboutism. It's a let's, fact. Like, people you know, can legitimately rewatch the recording, mate. I know you're a monkey and you can't understand the yeah. technology, but you don't have to bring it up. Like people can legitimately move the slider after the stream is uploaded and see what I have said. I can't do it while I'm having a conversation with you, you stupid gypsy fuck. I can't go back to what you were talking about five minutes ago after you changed the topic five times, you stupid. No, you legitimately can. Like after the stream is uploaded, That's you can go back. To every so when, when are you gonna go on his up. channel and have Stop a friendly discussion? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think he he feels intimidated by me or some shit. Please okay. stop changing the fucking topic. The reason why I don't want to talk to you is because you're fucking annoying. You're this annoying, whiny little piece of shit. Th this I'm comes annoying. from the guy that I'm puts his money twice every time on his channel I mean, for five year olds. I don't act like a about uh, about it. For fuck's sake, V. Shut the fuck up. Let other people talk. What else? Stop. What? You're going to mute Stop. me naked. You're going to mute me if I don't talk, shut the fuck up. Like, I I'm still waiting for, for you to give me a specific example of what I did wrong. And you can't. You're pussyfooting a lot of the issue because you're a pussy. You make blatant accusations. And when you can't back them up, you change the subject. V, I have to be honest with you. I don't know you that well. I don't know so what why you... Why are you making accusations about me if you don't listen, know me that well? Listen. Well, listen, let's let's play a little bit of semantics here, okay? I didn't say that you did anything specifically. In fact, the yes, words that I said, V, shut the fuck up. The words that I actually said was you people, the entire skeptosphere, the liberalists, all of you do things like this. Okay, so 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 it wasn't an accusation at up. me. You're all doing the feminist up. thing. It's and like all men are doing it. All gamers YouTube. are doing it. And when someone that's a gamer or a man is pointing out, oh, you're talking shit about me. It's like, no, no, no. I was talking about gamers in general. I was talking about men in general. I was talking about I'm white talking people about in general. Your friends, V. I'm talking about all of them, all your friends. And the example I have is you in this conversation being a slimy little cock sucking piece. Yeah, and of I asked garbage. you, can you give me an example? Can, <laughs> right can you now, you little piece example? of shit. Right fucking now, this is oh. the example. This is you pussyfooting around one of the major Give fucking... Give me another companies. example before now, because you wouldn't be able to point out that this has happened now, right? If you made the accusation in the past. Man. I don't know you that. And, and, and I disagree I with you. I, I disagree with you that I acted like a slime ball right now. But, you, but you, you know, so, so you don't know me, right? You don't know me, but you're willing to make accusations about me without knowing me. And then you you're and your friends, V. All of your friends. It was it was directed at me. People can scroll back. People can scroll back and notice that you made an accusation directed at me. And when I'm challenging you on it, now you're changing the subject and it's like, oh, it's my friends. V, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not my friends. You have to take it up with my friends, okay? V, what I said about you is this conversation is an example of you being a slime ball. Do you know what? Now I'm going to stop referring to you as a person. I'm going to refer to you as the LGBT community. You know, the LGBT LMNOP. Going to read shit about you from other newspapers and then assess them to you as a faggot. You know, see how you like that shit. V, I'm why, why do you want me to see gay people in Disney movies naked? V, why, why do you want me to see Aladdin taking it up the ass off, from Japan? Why, why are you such a faggot that oh, I'm influencing every single TV show that I watch? You know, when... when in the 100, the main cast died. Faggots like you started complaining that hashtag kill my gays. Why are you part of that naked day? Why, why is it you and your gay people why did you always stirring up shit? Why did you lie about your I argument? I didn't lie. I didn't lie. You're the one who, are, who is a liar and you're refusing to back it up with evidence. Now you change the story saying it's not about me, it's about my now friend. You, oh, you're strawmanning me, V. That's not what I said. Hey, I, there is nothing right. to straw man. Your entire argument is a straw man. If I'm straw manning, it means that I'm being accurate. Because your argument is a straw man. See, this is why I don't like you, V.
I mean, the honest truth why I don't oh, like wow. it. I, I won't be able to sleep at night again. I'm going to wet another pillow. Naked Dave doesn't like me. How will I live? This is probably why a lot of people don't like you either, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, the problem, I mean, talking to you is... How cool. many people I mean, naked? Give me numbers. Give me statistics. How, how uh, many people um, don't like you? Say your mom didn't like it when I banged her last night. Oh, this, wow. That, that is so me. mature, mate. Holy shit. If I want to <laughs> hear my mom jokes, I log in the Xbox and I hear me, There's no way to actually have a real conversation with you. You don't have conversations with me. I don't know. I had conversation you with everyone here until you showed up. You don't it shut was up. perfectly fine. Don't shut the fuck right. up long enough to let people actually have a conversation with you. I mean, well, the fuck, if they're going to slander and lie without backing it up, your fucking ass so far, you don't even let anybody else get anything out. See, you're not even letting Ralph Richard talk, you piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, it's, it's kind of let's let's put a pin in it. Put a pin in it for now. Uh, Jim, are you still here? Uh yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going. <laughs> um, I guess just while you're here, uh, uh, you know, I still saw your icon on the screen. Some some people in chat were wondering. Basically, the the link to the hangout is out, so I had to pull the the pictures of you know of us talking off just in case some some rascal came on here with some uh you know pornography or or something like that uh, anyway i was going to ask you about uh, elon musk and other people can comment on it too and uh his comment that, about who that's a nice that's a, that's a nice little segue yeah <laughs> right another <laughs> shit show <All> right. <laughs> uh my my yeah okay so did you watch what happened with the um all right let me make sure i get her name right yeah and i'll pull that up i, I know what you uh Got a feeling about what? Uh, yeah, about. Aaron Biba. Yeah. So last night, Elon Musk is getting into an argument because he was upset that uh, Aaron Biba and other journalists were taking him out of context or criticizing him over different things. And basically, uh, he he threw out uh, he threw out a little tweet that uh, if you go and look at the thread uh, that Musk is talking in, there've got to be about forty or fifty different blue check marks just circling in the fucking water, right, waiting for him to say what they're expecting him to say. Yes. Because they, they want to pounce on it. Uh, all he said was, who do you think owns the press? Hello. And if you go and look through it, it's every fucking writer from every outlet just egging him on, begging him to say something. And he doesn't. He just takes off. He, he goes and uh, fucks his new goth girlfriend or whatever the fuck he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Name but, the Jew imminent. <laughs> right, right. But uh, So Aaron Biba, the next day, right? Uh, <laughs> this is great because this really all kind of started with her. Yes. Uh, she she said something. He responded to her and said, "I've never attacked science. Definitely attacked misleading journalism like yours, though." So after he made that statement last night, talking about how the press is shit, essentially, she tweets out, "Female journalists, have you been harassed by Elon Musk fans? Please DM me your most horrific tweets and messages and share this." Uh, so I, I laughed at her, and within about three minutes, she deleted the tweet, uh, blocked me and a bunch of other people, and then put herself on lockdown. So. They're pissed they can't get Musk. They, they expected him to follow that up with, it's the Jews, right? <laughs> uh, and because he didn't say that, they're really fucking angry. So they're looking for anything they can nail him on, but they don't have anything. So now they've de you know, they, they've devolved into looking for his fucking... Uh, anybody sent a mean tweet to a female journalist, that must be the person responsible, right? So we're going to write a story about that. Look at these sexist, evil, racist Elon Musk fans. Uh, Elon, Ellen, whatever. Uh, fucking Musk, uh, he's... He's harmless, right? I've never really heard him make a political statement. Have you? No, not really. Uh, and uh, I know he was on Trump's advisory panel, and he eventually quit that because, well, Trump was. He's the too Trump of Silicon Valley, Ralph. Well, what Trump, are you talking was, about? Trump was getting a little too spicy, so he kind of just backed out. But he didn't announce Trump exactly or anything. But what one thing he does do is go back and forth with journalists on Twitter all the time and pretty much call them out for their shit. And he has a very active uh, Twitter account, and he talks to regular people too. Did, like did he, you see the people respond? That this has been some of the funniest shit because uh, he got Stan Lee to agree with him. Yeah, I did yeah. see that. Uh, really but he, that. even funnier than that was uh, the people responding saying, "This is shocking." Like. Uh, uh, Rothschilds are responding, saying, <laughs> yeah. I, "I don't like where this is going." Oh, really? You don't like where this? <laughs> you don't like where this is going, dude? Rothschild. Of course, yeah. they don't. Did, did you see the the journalist that was asking any woman that has been harassed by Elon Musk to DM? Yeah, her? yeah, that was the one we were talking about. And by the way, his original comment was, let, "Let me read the first comment." Was from Joshua Topolsky. I think that dude writes for uh, the Outline. That's uh, something you've talked about this year, Jim. The Outline. Uh, that's what yeah, maybe that was a little too subtle for everybody to get but uh, oh no i think we all caught it <laughs> uh he said you're I'm very smart and so i want you to think about this for a second do you think it's in the interest of powerful people to a support a free press that exposes their lies or b tear it down so their lies are easier to tell now ask yourself why the polls will look bad 
And then uh, Elon Musk said, who do you think owns the press? Hello. <laughs> and uh, no, a lot of people said he was, you know, Oh, Talking Ralph, you have issues. to you have to scroll down and just just yeah. just for like you know half a half a minute, and you'll look at all the blue check marks that pop yeah. up on screen. It's uh, fucking ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Elon, where are you going with this, Ben Collins? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's blue check mark after blue check. There's also some uh, some others uh, who are trying to <laughs> spin their own uh, <laughs> spin their own narrative as well, so to speak. Uh, but yeah. Look at some of those last names. I wonder how many shekels it takes to get a blue check mark these days. <laughs> don't worry. Hey, I got one of those. Uh, don't worry, Elon. Uh, all the careless things you're saying that are putting people in direct danger, danger won't affect any of us since we're all living in a simulation anyway. That's also one of his things, and he thinks we might be living in a computer simulation. Uh, let me let me grab the Ross the Rothschild tweet uh, because he said uh, concerned about where this is going. And <laughs> I bet he is. <laughs> and then uh, all I said was, I bet you are. And uh, I got some play. But, yeah, there's there's reporters. And they've been hammering hammering on this all day, uh, you know, trying to say he was being anti-Semitic. I didn't take it that way. I thought he was just saying that powerful people also yeah. own the media retard. What, what are you well, talking it, about? It, it, yeah, I mean, if, even if you put aside the jokes you're going to get when he's talking about who owns the media, right? Because sure. you can read the fucking responses. Yeah. All you have to do is look at uh, Aaron Beba's fucking just the interaction between the two. He basically says you're a shitty journalist, and her response is, uh, I, "I'm going to write a story about people harassing female journalists, not just journalists, <laughs> yeah. female journalists, and they're Ellen Musk fans. Send me all the dirty, horrific things you can send me, so I can smear this fucker." It's so transparent. It's right out there in the open. It makes them look like assholes. I, I wanted to make a video today about Elon Musk. I can't stop finding content for it. There, there's like over 30 articles in the press comparing him to Donald Trump, mm -hmm. saying that he's worse than Satan, uh, saying that he's a <laughs> harasser of women, uh, saying that he probably gropes your mom when, when she's cooking. Like everything that's possible to be done under the sun, Elon Musk has probably done it. It's, it's insane. I'm actually about to do a search, a verified search too. And and, and this is this is because he wants to build a website like Deep Freeze. Yeah, it? actually, like, actually, there was an yeah. article, a hit piece on Newsweek this morning. Uh, <laughs> Elon Musk goes to war with the media, promotes site with alleged sex cult ties. Now is it Elon or Elon? <laughs> oh, I, Elon, Elon. I always oh, said Elon. I don't know what. It, that's off topic. But. I've always said Elon Musk. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll link the article in the. Yeah, and there's chat. the Stan Lee tweet. Uh, then they well, started saying it, Stan Lee's had his Twitter account confiscated and he, and he doesn't know what's going on. That, that was the response to that. Did, yeah. did you see the other thing going on too? I, like, I, I love how, he, I think part of it is the press wants to be respected, but nobody respects them anymore. Yes. And I think uh, another part of it is they're jealous of the competition because anybody that succeeds at what they do, they get angry about. I think that's why you see a lot of articles kind of in the recent last year or so. Uh, really shitting on anybody that's got a social media platform with a lot of followers or YouTubers or anything like that. Uh, did you see the Atlantic article that came out today? Uh, oh, about the YouTuber that does the philanthropy. What's his name? Mr. Beast or something like that? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's popular philanthropist. Mr. Beast has built his image on being a nice guy, but history has uh, there, but has a history of using homophobic, homophobic slurs. Homophobic. He literally said faggot like twice. This is a guy that's <laughs> given away like half a million dollars to people. Like of just random fucking people, just to see the reaction, and they 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 hone in on him saying "fag" once or twice and saying something is gay, and they write this fucking black PR smear piece. I it's just mind boggling to me. I don't know I mean, what the fucking press is doing these days. There was an article in New York Times a little bit ago. Uh, I don't remember the actual title about it, but it's basically from a liberal perspective why you know why Donald Trump won the election and why you know uh, liberals are driving people away. Uh, and it, there's a lot of like uh, uh, rhetoric about um, uh, like you know transgendered people. Uh, one example that I can think of is a little while ago, uh, gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder was listed as a mental disorder. For who fucking knows why? Uh, that would be listed as a mental disorder. And now we accept it everywhere. And never once does the article think maybe you're wrong. Maybe you should think about being wrong. The entire article it even asks the question. We, why are we apologizing for offending bigots? So I think that's sort of what this is about. This isn't really about, um, uh, I mean, it's partially probably the jealousy factor, but it's the sense of power. They have this sense of power of thinking they're in control, their narrative is in power. Uh, it's everything that they want for the future. And if you question it, 
You deserve to be mocked. You deserve everything coming to you. You're just a bigot, and we're getting away with it because we're the New York Times. Plus, uh, like Jim said, it does seem to be people they're threatened by. So uh, Elon Musk, he starts talking about all of a sudden, you know what, I think I'm going to make a website that grades all yeah. you bastards and, and looks at all your articles individually and, and let people vote on it. And they know he's a fucking billionaire. Uh, you know, most of what he touches turns to gold and the, like something like this might actually take off. You know what I mean? Uh, if I, it has I think that's the biggest permission. issue. That, yeah. the, it, it, if you remember, I believe it was Vice who uh, made it so archive.org can't archive their articles because racist bigots and xenophobes are archiving their articles and they're ruining their credibility. I'm not even kidding. That was the official statement. Um, so now oh, yeah, if I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I found a workaround, of course. Yeah, yeah but, but the thing is, if you're going to do that for all the journalists, they, they are livid because they know Every single one of them is guilty of posting something in the past and then doubling down or, you know, just changing their, their, their opinion on it or they're ashamed of, of what they posted in the past. So they don't want that type of archive. Yeah, They also I don't just, want to be caught editing articles after the fact when they get called out on it. I just think, yeah. it, like, it, they're attacking him so hard because they actually feel threatened by him. Well, uh, look course. at what happened with the uh, the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, and PewDiePie, and now, of course, Vice is getting in on making shit up. You know, they said, uh, Vice basically posted an article that said, uh, PewDiePie's having this feud with some Twitch thought, and uh, she got mad that he called her a Twitch thought, and his response to her response was basically, uh, you know, it was basically like a counter of her criticism of him, and Vice tried to say that he was saying that he was advocating for her rape, that she was asking for it or something, which was completely mischaracterizing what he was saying. But the media is going after people on YouTube, going after people like Elon Musk, because they are not... They don't... They can't conceive of a world where people don't trust them and where ne they're not the leading authority on talking about shit. And it freaks them the fuck out. So they're spurging out about it and trying to go after everybody and pull down anybody they can Oh, yeah, I see that article. I, I hadn't seen it before. You just mentioned it, though. Uh, it said PewDiePie used something called the Toby to buy eye tracker, which is able to show in real time what a user is looking at on the screen. Uh, Kelberg uh, invited fans on Twitter to send him videos to view and recorded the results. One of the videos he watched, Sexiest Twitch Girl Streamers April 2017, was a compilation that featured Alinity. Uh, he struggled to keep his eyes off their chest. He jokingly called women in the video stupid Twitch thoughts. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's you guys good. seen the uh, archive of the tweet by uh, Chelsea Manning allegedly yeah. committing suicide? Yeah, that was that seems like a long time ago, but uh, was uh, that a long time ago? That was no, no, it was like actually an hour. Say, it seems like a long time ago. It was really like an hour and a half or so ago. Jim alerted us to that in chat. Uh, I think I think uh, Manning's alive though, right, Jim? Uh, from what I saw. <laughs> well. <laughs> I, I don't yeah. know, man. I mean, it was a red car uh, they would have been jumping on, so it's kind of going to blend in with the paint. I guess we're going to have to wait for tomorrow. Well, what, what do you guys think will happen with this website if it goes up? I mean, I think it has a, a, a good chance of being a success. Uh, yeah. e Elon Musk doesn't really do a lot of failures. I mean, Tesla's not well, doing so well at the moment, but um, the it's website. not failing. No, but it's losing money. It's not actually doing it as well as it should be, uh, according to investors anyway. But um, the website, it'll do gangbusters because fake news uh, is the new thing. I, I disagree, um, I, and I will tell you why. Um, it's going to be slandered to hell by the press, right? It's going to say that only, <laughs> only race. No, let, 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 me, let me finish. Let me finish because I know what you're thinking. But you're, they're basically going to say that only racists, Islamophobes, xenophobes are using that website. And, you know, it's filled with lies and blah, blah, blah. And everyone who's a progressive. Everyone who's on that side of the fence, who's the leftist, is not going to go on that website. Like, they believe their friends. They get their information from third-party sources. If they tell you that this channel, like, I don't know, Peterson's channel is, is xenophobic, racist, Islamophobic, they will not watch any of those videos. I mean, don't, don't you think that, you know, the other side of the coin has the same thing? Like, you know, we, we don't believe in uh, the Huffington Post or in uh, uh, Snopes or all that other bullshit. We would basically be using this as our sort of, you know, catapult back into the back into the internet. Uh, back yeah, into the internet. Yeah. This is our, you know, rating system. And can I also say, I don't think he's actually going to launch it. I, I think he was mostly just trolling the journalist, uh, trolling them back because they're always pestering him. 
He has a uh, copyright for the name that he didn't oh, count. I, I'm telling you something. If he wasn't going to launch it then, then he's certainly going well, to launch it Well, I mean, it's now. possible, but I, th I just took it, like, as a troll at first. I mean, maybe maybe he is actually going to do it, but it's just amazing to me how they reacted. I mean, the it, biggest I reason why he started this is because people have been uh, talking about his um, automated system and you know, people who have no reason uh, to talk about that kind of shit, who don't understand the technology behind it, Basically bad mouthing it, saying how it's dangerous. So I think he might actually be doing it as a PR stunt for his uh, for Tesla. Some people and in chat seem to think he's going to do it too. So maybe. Yeah, I, I think he will do it. And, and by the way, about what Naked Dave said, um, yeah, I, I do think there's people on the other side of the fence that would not trust an article if it comes from the Guardian, for instance. And I, I keep saying on my channel, like, if you want to get informed, you need to watch the actors and you need to read Breitbart. You, you need to read the Daily Stormer and you need to read the Guardian. And, and you need to judge every story, you know, on its own merit. You, you need to verify for yourself and think for yourself, is the story true? Are they are they Elon living? Musk is not a Donald Trumpian figure, like, like um, as much as they might say. He's not loved by the, well, he hasn't been loved by the right until now. So, yeah, I, I agree. You know, He's not been hated by the left until just now. So you, you really think that the left is going to just suddenly turn on him like that? Or do you think there's going to be some people who are holdovers, uh, uh, Musk favorite, Musk fanboys, who are going to come along with him? I have a lot of friends uh, that I play video games with. Some are progressive, some, some are uh, more to the right. Um, the, the way the progressives think is far more radicalized than the right. Like, if one of their friends say, don't go to this website because it's with racist content, they, they will not go to that website. Yeah, but, you know, those aren't going to be Elon Musk fanboys. He's got a really big following. He's been, they, like, the real problem with that the media did is that they build these people up. Uh, they build these people up as like these sort of um, uh, shining examples of what it means to be a leftist. And then they go off script a little bit and they try to uh, come after him. Same thing that happened with Kanye. So, you know, he, they might go after him, but Kanye West isn't going to be losing fans. Like his, He might lose some, but you know, his hardcore fans are still going to be around there uh, tugging along with him on his new uh, uh, um, uh, MAGA road. I think Kanye might actually gain fans, um, and, and it's not from the left, it's from the people who aren't well, interested. It's from all the white people who buy rap music, because everybody yeah. knows black people don't buy rap music. Is that a thing? They don't have any money. <laughs> okay. it, it actually is a thing. It's, it's a, it's a well-known secret that white people buy uh, uh, a lot of rap music. It's white people. Well, they listen, Black people listen to it, but they don't, use, they don't purchase nearly as much as, as white people. Yeah, that's actually true. And, of course, it's the Jews who produce it. Yeah, I think like uh, black people of middle class, you know, like bourgeoisie black people, they probably listen to jazz and soul music. Like, I, I don't think they would listen to the gangster shit. Like, is that an accurate comparison? Because you live well, in it's, the United it's, States. It's more that they don't, <laughs> there's, not, there's not enough of them. <laughs> there's not enough. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all fucking poor, man. <laughs> they, 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 they torrent that shit. <laughs> There, uh, why, why do you think they have to uh, put rap music inside those little uh, uh, glass cases? <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, it's a five finger discount, man. They don't have money for shit. You kidding me? Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, white people make black music work. Yeah, then why are white people <laughs> buying albums from people that say what well, white people are the devil? I mean, that's not what most rap music is, man. Um, no, but there are certain rap artists that are taking a very hardcore political stance, and you yeah, know they, they're no, blaming. Uh -huh. it. I'm not saying that all rap, not all rap. No, no, no. I, I know, but but it's like so, in order to... um, so yeah. Pretty sure Chelsea Manning is dead right now, and that's why there has no, been no, another. No, 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 no. Manning is alive, according yeah. to the Twitter account. Anyway, I'll, I'll just put that. What, what, what does did the before Twitter account say? I'm sorry, the I'm football, still alive. Ape, I just want to say. No, they said it was a friend that had it. Uh, <laughs> a friend? No, yes. a friend that because controlling hours. account. Chelsea is safe. Yeah. Uh, Manning is on the phone with friends. Thanks, everyone, for your concern. And please give her some space. That was a tweet. That was a tweet. What? Anyway, I, I want to leave. So uh, thank, thank, thank you guys for having me. Um, there, there's just one yes. question I need to ask. Uh, it's it's going to be in my video, and I need to know this. Uh, the media in the United States is owned by, like, six corporations, I think. Um, is any one of them not Jewish? I have no idea. I doubt it, though. Uh, Rupert Murdoch isn't Jewish, to my knowledge. He owns News Corp, which owns Fox. Yeah, well, his son owns it now, doesn't he? I don't think is, is Rupert Murdoch Jewish. 
A better question is he a, is he American? I thought I thought he wasn't. <laughs> no, nah, he's Australian actually, Rupert Murdoch. Yeah, because I, I want to be accurate in my video, you know, and because uh, I'm making it about Elon Musk, and and I'm curious if there is a single media conglomerate that's owned by a non-Jewish person. Not saying it's a bad thing, not saying it's a good thing. It's just a statement of fact. Yeah. Is th is there a single media uh, conglomerate that's non-Jewish? News Corp is the only one I can think of. Chat says Rupert Murdoch is not Jewish. He's so, there you go. Okay. That's one. All not right. One. Then, that, then I can't make the statement. It's not accurate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys six. for having me. And uh, Naked Ape, no, no hard feelings. I, I know we got a little spice. Yeah, yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> see, I'm not a faggot. I don't take dick up my ass. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Rolf, whenever you want you don't me. Don't take so. it up your ass, but whenever Sargon's on, you slobber it like a little puppy dog. You know what? You talk about me figuratively, but I know you did literally. Um, so yeah, Ralph, whatever you want me on, uh, g give me give me oh, a call. Oh, man. Oh, well, thanks for yeah. thanks for coming on. Let Sargon know we we would love to have him. Uh, the, the yeah. It Gauntlet, so I mean, I, I would like to have him come on and, and speak with Jim, but if he would come on just himself, I, I, that would be cool too. I, I don't know if he wants to, but uh, yeah, I'm sick of dealing with the capos. I want to take off. <laughs> yeah, like, come Enough on. of this foot soldier shit. I'll, I'll, if it's going to happen, it's probably going to be on his platform or on Jim's channel. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> as for Jim, you know, I, I legitimately feel sorry for Devo. That's, that's why I stuck up for him. He's he's not very social. To say the least, so yeah, that's that's why I did my defense for him. But but anyway, right, I'm off. Wait, 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 okay. wait, yeah. wait. All right. not, not very social. Do you mean he's autistic? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Does he have Does he have difficulty interacting with people? Do, do, do you have? Well, I mean, you heard him here. Like, how how would you classify him? Like, would you put no, him no, as no. a people how person? Would, how would you classify him? <laughs> How would, would you classify him? Spank would... me, daddy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's a uh, he's a nigger. Is no. is that the right classification? Official well, classification. Considering the fact that I kept telling him, don't go after Jim. Don't make a stream about Jim. Don't don't, don't talk about it. Don't just, just drop it. And, and he did but, it see, anyway. This conversation <laughs> could have been a lot easier if when we asked you why are you defending him, you just say he's an autistic piece of shit, and I feel sorry for him. You, See, you that's the, the question. Answer he's an autistic piece of shit, and I feel <laughs> sorry for him. That makes sense now. It all makes sense. Okay. What a I, I, I'm off now. All right. Thank Later, you, v. V. Thanks, uh, Jim, while you're still here, just three quick hits, and then I'll let you go, too, because you've been uh, kind enough to stay with this long. First off, yeah. Battlefield 5, just quick thoughts on what's, what all is going on with that still and the statement DICE put out. I haven't seen their statement, but it, it, it's... I don't know, man. Go buy the competitors game. It reminds me of uh, was it Battlefield Two, where everybody on Steam was like, "Fuck this, I'm never gonna buy it." Yeah. And then everybody went and bought it because you could see there's like a Steam group dedicated to boycotting it. I think this is before fucking Origin, if I'm remembering right. And everybody in the fucking boycott uh, list was all green playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one Amazing. other, uh, Morgan Freeman. Have you seen anything about the? I want them to make a fucking new version of the uh, Odd Couple with Cosby and Freeman <laughs> in jail together. <laughs> oh man, I'd uh, watch that actually. There was one more uh, that uh, that game for the Twitch. What what is the name of it? I saw you tweet about because I actually thought about buying it. Oh, the Castlevania uh, game. It's, like, well, it's not official like... uh, Castlevania. Yeah, Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon. Uh, you said it's pretty good. Is is it uh, is it worth a purchase? Uh, it depends if you like retro games. I mean, it plays. Yeah. It, it reminds me a lot of like Castlevania Three uh, with the uh, character switching, and it, it's pretty good. I mean, it's short. You're gonna get like an hour and a half out of it if you're good at games. Um, but I mean, yeah, if you like like old style kind of like NES games, uh, okay. yeah, it's not bad. All right, cool. Uh, thank you, man, for staying with us. I'll, I'll let you go ahead and get off. Jim, there's one thing I've always wanted to say to you. Yeah. Nigger Jim. Nigger Jim. All right. Well, I will take that. I will take that as a new handle. Uh, and <laughs> use that. Use that on my fucking channel. Fantastic. Thanks, man. All right, you it. are acting like a bunch of niggers. Oh, <laughs> that is hurtful. All right. All right, man.